<laughs> All right, it's time for the number one show at 9 p.m. is Sean Friday Nights about Star Citizen. It's a Space Pro show. That's right. And tonight, super amazing guests are Toy Grubbin, the amazing Sergeant Tickles, and you know him, I love him, and he drinks lots of wine, The Few. Hello. <laughs> oh, you copied me now, huh? What's going so on? much copy. I thought we were all in caves. And apparently caves? I'm on super white boy mode, let's go. <laughs> Change your name to Casper. No doubt, right? Oh Are my god. Are we in caves? Are we in caves? Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, no. Just for that, I'm not fixing your frame on this one. You're getting extra bars there, Mr. Toy. You're fully barred. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. So, what's up, boys? How you guys doing? Space is up. Space is up. Doing? doing well. Three sevens out. I'm doing amazing, really, to be honest. I mean, I'm I'm loving life right now. All in, Star Citizen, outside of Star Citizen, everything. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Luke's found a new game that he's cheating on Star Citizen with, and he's trying to draw <laughs> us all in with him. I'm just like, ah! Uh, I may be drawing a few people in. I got Texas Skulls hooked it's on It's pretty it cool. Point. It's yeah. pretty cool. Is <laughs> that that medieval one? Yeah. yeah. That's still in concept, so mm. you can't play it yet. It's kind of worse. We were just talking about before you came in, uh, Tickles. It was like basically where Star Citizen was before 2.0. That's where they're at. Like, there's nothing to play. It's all in concept. And yeah, yeah, you can't play it yet. But there's like whole communities. And, yeah. I just yeah. go to a website and read about the game and talk about it. And like a lot of people show up and they just like want to like yeah. hang out. And it's so they're really whole, awesome. That whole community <laughs> and it's uh, Chronicles of Lyria. That whole community is like in super hype mode where Star Citizen was for 2.0. It's like, everything's possible. There's been no decisions really made. And everyone's super excited. There's already like kings of lands and fiefdoms back in the yeah. game and shit. You know? I actually who, interviewed who the a king on would, my like, show. get excited about a game that's not even out? Right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, Crazy I, I interviewed people. A I interviewed a king from the game on my show yesterday, like last week, or this week actually, and it was just interesting to talk about. Like, he is king, like, huh? is he yeah, still king? Claimed or no? Like, actually, in the game, he's back the game high enough that he owns he, lands, swaths of lands. It's really complicated. If I have to start explaining how the how everything well, works. he did a whole show. He does a show on uh, just a uh, hype Luke's thing up he, on All Tuesdays. Right. He does a whole show about it, and uh, I'm gonna pop in next Tuesday too. And he's got several other guys, and we're asking questions and stuff, and finding out more about it. So. If you're interested, mm. check it out on Tuesdays over on the Fuse channel mm -hmm. and find out all about this game that's not a game that you can that throw money at. About as well. I, I really know that not don't know that much about it still, and I'm just learning. So yeah. anyway, we're here for Star Citizen. Yep. We're still, here to oh, talk oh, about yeah, how Star you're Star trying Citizen. to grow a beard. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I decided I'm moving into Sergeant Tickle's turf here. I and, like it. Uh, oh, I like it, dude. I, I encourage it. That's... I'm just really lazy, really, to be honest. This is just me waking <laughs> up every morning going, do I really feel like shaving my face today? That's that what I did when I got out of the Air Force, dude. I was like, I'm never shaving again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, man. I, I can't jealous of the gray in it, though. I actually am. Mm hmm. A little bit of definition. I like that. Yep. I never, I, I never, like ever, I I'm never able to fill in here or anything goatee wise. So it's like, I don't even, I don't even try. It's like beyond this is where I got. I've had this in my life down about a foot and braided like full Viking yeah. chin strap going on there, but I've never been able to fill in this. It's just too much uh, Native American in my blood. I guess I get I patchy. patchy go. beard, so. I, I'm going, I'm working on my Chronicles of Illyria King look so that I can. Make kingly, okay. kingly, kingly things. I, I like also yeah. how I have a brand new, like, <laughs> awesome 4K camera, and it still looks like I'm streaming from a toaster. That's because so. oh, it's here we because go. you have a green screen. Oh, uh, if you don't have a green screen, it's uh, it looks better. I don't know. It's like you can't get depth what? perception. That's... So really, a lot of uh, your the way yeah. you have your I don't know. We can go into it later. It's but depth of field to summarize yeah. the short version yeah. is because it doesn't perceive depth of field because you're using a green screen like if you have a background mm. like what it's yeah. got then this like with a background it's but depending on the aperture of the lens you're using and a couple other things will create a depth of field that will make it seem richer potentially so yeah but you actually look what, pretty good I what camera did you get oh uh, the a6400 oh dude i have one of those lying right around here somewhere 
He just was showing oh, it he's like, just like extra oh, here's He's like, ah, I got ten. The, by the way, right this show there. is not currently sponsored by Sony, but if you're interested, Sony. Oh, they don't even, they don't give I got I know. They don't cameras. give free nothing. You want cameras? I got cameras. If you have any extra e mount lenses, let me know a few. <laughs> I love these ones. And then I, I don't I know he has extras, but he's got them. <laughs> Excellent. I like how he's like, oh, yeah, I've got like 14 things lying around here. Mm -hmm. Pulled out 15,000 in camera equipment. The fuse Nobody can waste off. money like me. I don't think the, I don't think the fuse mic's off. I think he's just really excited and he's all over the place at the moment. So. Oh, so yeah, I've been moving my head here. Can you hear me, though? Yeah. At least it's like when you talk hands. in your mic like this, you get kind of divergent sound yes, quality. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to do Let's it. get ready to rumble. So, Tickles, I had this great idea for next week's show. I think we're going to do the whole show. ASMR. Naked. Oh. ASMR, the entire Space Bro show. I, it's like, I, really, I really like 3 7. It's really cool. So, what do you guys think about beard ASMR? It's, it's kind of scratchy. <laughs> no. Of it's scratchy. <laughs> oh, God. That's evil. So, oh, yeah. Okay. We're, we're, <laughs> okay. we're about to cut him off. Let's yeah, stop on that. Oh, okay, I'm God. sorry. I thought this was the uh, ASMR. Wait, yeah, what no, are we doing? That, that, yep. that was ear piercing. Yeah. It, it kind of went there. <laughs> but no, but anyway, so 3.7's out live now, which is really cool. I was hoping we'd get a free fly with it, and they didn't do that. They didn't decide to go that route. They kind of made it sound like there was going to be one. Yeah. Wait, and, what are we doing? What are we talking about? <laughs> Star Citizen. Are you in? <laughs> three five. Wait, I thought three, three seven. seven. Oh, three, seven. <laughs> three seven. Oh, three seven. Three okay. seven. I thought they were gonna maybe uh, sneak in a little bit of a, a free fly or something in there, because it'd be yeah. cool to get everybody else involved in the community and those things. And they just it didn't happen. It's just like, nope, not gonna do it. So um, that's kind of the way it went over there. With that, but um, we're still. Ho I'm still hopeful. Maybe when we get closer to. Uh, Citizen Con, maybe they'll drop one in. I really think it's important they do one to open it mm -hmm. up for other people to come in because now that ship rentals and these things are yeah. starting to leak into the Why game. Outside, no, they almost they almost definitely will do a free uh, a free fly for uh, I would imagine uh, for the um, anniversary sale like yeah. around Citizen Con. Yeah, so think, how bad do you think the website's going to crash then? Golly, don't I saw your tweet? I saw your response so, to their like, tweet. So today with the website, from what I understand, it wasn't, it was because yeah. of a DDoS attack. Yeah. See, it's not their fault. From, from what somebody told me that's in Russia, they shut off Russia. So it just sounds like, the RSI site. it sounds like Sergeant Tickles is so excited to get his Mantis. He like had all him and his entire bot army attack the website simultaneously and take it down. I, I think that. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I think there was too many people trying to access it. Yeah. And we were DDoSing the site simultaneously with well, that usually actual DDoS. Yeah. That usually, in my experience managing e -com sites in the past, which is quite extensive, uh, that usually just means they misjudged the amount of demand. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. what my big guess is. Well, There like may have been a DDoS. Don't get me wrong. Well, let's talk about why that demand was so high. I mean, they, I don't That's know. That's a good thing, usually. Yeah, they came in with a great price point on the Mantis, first off. I mean, compared mm -hmm. to that. I, dude, I swear it was going to be 300 I No I, way. I was like. Starter ship, man. Starter ship. Look at a prospector it's or a, a vulture or something. It's the start. It, it's like a prospector or a vulture. It's a starter. Look at the you know. Eclipse. Yeah, but the Eclipse is a size nine bomber. It's the starter bomber. So why is it 300? It's not the starter bomber. <laughs> What's uh, the starter bomber? Stinking Gladius is a starter bomber. Which is more it's... than the Mantis. Yeah. Still. But all military ships are always more expensive, so. Yeah, but this is military and it's not. That's why I was like, it just made me scratch my head, but it's a good way. But I was like, I was thinking it was going to come in hopefully around two so I could no. pick it up. And if it was over when that, I, I was When I saw like, the price, nah. I was shocked at how cheap it was. Yeah. I was like, that's great. I was super happy about that. Was yeah. that... um. I go. I heard. Yes, something. it was. I go. Hi, I go. <laughs> I'm sure if you scream into Tickle's ears louder, yeah, if you scream she'll be loud enough. Yeah, she'll, she'll, hear, it. she'll hear it Flips right it through high. his head. I know. I saw. Hello. She might be watching the stream. Oh, she didn't uh, watch this a crap. Little, a little red wine, a little Bordeaux, a little Bordeaux for you, I go. Bordeaux, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Bordeaux is what we're getting right now. There we go. <laughs> uh, 
But no, Fair. yeah, presently surprised in a price point. Not saying that it's, um, I think it's because maybe we're just so used to things being overpriced in a certain aspect on certain things are a little bit higher than we'd like. This one sure. came in at a, a very decent price, I believe, for a role-based ship that's probably so intricate yeah. for the role. It's right, it's the only available ship yeah. for that role. I don't know, what they what they price the um, uh, the Warlock when it first came out? Because wasn't that the first DMP ones? I don't know. I don't remember now. I mean, the ship is a one-man ship. It didn't even yeah. have a... Did it have a bed? It has a bed and a toilet. Yep. By, oh, a bidet, a bidet and a bidet. toilet. Yeah, yes. it even has it's a bidet. bidet. <laughs> and Luke and I <laughs> argued about it forever. I was like, that's a bidet. And he's like, no, no it's not. We argued like, about it. Yeah. And then Mitachi murdered me. It's actually... Well, look on a, the it's, arm. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, uh, a tickler. Oh. Okay. No, I... It's oh, because... I murdered I Luke accidentally because I was pushing him in the toilet, apparently, even though yeah. on my camera he was pushing me because I was trying to show him the bidet. So I was like, I look at it. About that. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> we got in this like weird desync where we were both blocking each other in the toilet. Yeah, it's like in his camera, I'm shoving him. <laughs> and in my camera, he's pushing me. And, you know. Uh, Sergeant Tickles, put your hand in front of your camera again. You'll get that awesome depth of field that we were talking about. Watch it, watch it. Oh, wait, come on. It's too close. It's not focusing your fingers. He's got to hold him still. What do you... Oh, there it is. Yeah, Look at that amazing shifts. depth of field. There it is. That's an amazing camera right there, ladies and gents. And those Anyways. are some clean nails. I, I applaud you for washing your hands and keeping good hygiene. That's really, yeah. really good. Yeah. What do you have? A, what do you, have a, you just wipe all the stuff in your beard. Oh, that's true. Your nails yeah, just don't yeah. autofocus on the beard too close. You'll be fine. Yeah. So it'll be good. Anyway, great price point on the Mantis. Uh, basically, this week was all about the Mantis. Like, and we I know we dove into a lot last week, but they did have um, a whole Q&A type of deal which was wrapped in a town hall kind of thing basically and um i watched up to about 30 minutes of it so far <laughs> i didn't see it at all i've just been so busy yeah so it happens on friday and then i get off of work and then i do the show and then i'm just happy to see this it. guy i hadn't seen mark in there forever oh that's true mark Bug was smashes on. yep so yeah it was good it's like we'll have to bring Buster in here so she can tell us what actually happened on it then. Yeah, yeah. I didn't <laughs> see this either. Yeah. No. no, they talked about some of the details. People were asking questions specifically about, well, that's great. How do you like track a ship to know where to set up the quant you know what I mean? The quantum interdiction type thing and, and all that stuff. And I guess all that functionality is coming down the road a little bit. So So wait, what can you do with the mantis right now? Can you actually interdict? Because I tried yeah. to interdict yes. on TTU and it wasn't exactly working. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nerd Show and Tell was getting it to work today, and a lot of people were. They okay. were getting it to work. So maybe today. we just got it early and it wasn't quite fully functional. Apparently something. there was a bug that it was triggering the entire server. <laughs> triggering? Like yeah. interdicting everybody? Yeah, it would interdict the entire oh, yeah. server. <laughs> all all of the uh, whole realm was gone. It was frozen in time. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely an interesting right, that's news. For, that's the news for the week. Aren't we? pretty, done. pretty much. That's it. All right. That's it's a good show, everyone. No, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this Chronicles of Lyra game. No. <laughs> all right. Just no, anyway, so who all's, who all's getting a Mantis? I'm curious. Who all's actually picking one up or playing on I might. I might. I, I might. have I one might. to play with, mm -hmm. and it will be melted immediately after I'm bored with it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know yet. I got to look at it. I might get a CCU to it. I might get one. I don't know. I'm... <laughs> I, yeah, I have one because I, I have a I have a, a thing that every single patch with a new ship, I have to have at least one of the new ships for streaming purposes. Yeah, yeah, and it, because you know as a streamer, people want to see the new shit, right? So yeah, of course, Absolutely. I have one of the new ships, and as soon as I'm bored with it, it'll go by the wayside. Yeah, yeah but like, were you a cool streamer like? Like me, who just happened to randomly have it somehow 24 hours early. I have no idea what happened there. But some people got it early, and some people didn't. And I, I don't know what happened with that. They gave it to Ali Vicati. Oh, okay. And then we actually had one before that. Did you really not know? I guess one of the devs. Shed. No, I didn't, I didn't actually no, know. I, to, I, mean, I, I told him like three really times bad. when we were streaming together, but he didn't believe me. I, we had, I didn't, I only had was a data point of one person, so I wasn't sure like who it was and why it was. Because I'm but always wrong. It's okay. It's I possible. <laughs> I am, I am being a dickhead though, if that's what we're saying. <laughs> I'm all, it's all good. All right. No, no uh, but uh, I, I plan on getting kind of, one too. I don't know. I'll probably be like tickles. I don't know how long I'll keep it or for what, but um, it's definitely goes into my gameplay style though, of like capturing things and stopping things. And... 
I yeah. don't want one, but I do want like the suit and stuff that comes with it. The suits just to dope. Collect the suits. Mm -hmm. Suits amazing looking. Wait, there's a suit that comes with it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but if you melt it, don't you lose the suit? Yeah, you will. Yeah. I want a suit. I might. I, I like. might keep it. It, it might be a keeper. It's not gold, I, Luke. Don't worry about it's it. It's not. Gold. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll <laughs> oh, get a gold one soon. More there. news. Did you see? I get a gold six hundred dollars now. We're that. not on that news yet. Oh, yeah, we're right, not there sorry. yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> don't you get two or something? No. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I don't know how many packages you get. I still don't have MMHC, But either way, yeah. So but the suit's matter. really cool. It remind me like actually of styling out of Tron movie. To me, like it's like it's. Like the black super suit for from the Tron series and stuff like that, only it doesn't glow. But uh woman, where is my super suit? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that was really cool. I mean, and they had some other packages come out too, four variants with it. I didn't really make a lot of sense to me, like the grouping. I guess it's supposed to be like your tackle pack or your blockade pack or your tackle ships. pack. Tackle pack is what it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, but they had one that had a caterpillar in it, and I was like what? Yeah, like half the packages come with caterpillars. I was just like, so <laughs> they, uh, they have an well, yeah. pirate swarm thing. That no, they, no, 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 not that one. There's one that comes with the mantis. They got to get rid of. <laughs> There's one that comes with the mantis, and I'm just I, like, well, the caterpillar also won the yeah, show it won it. the thing, so it's gonna be yeah. like. It's gonna be shoved down your throat. It's like it's gonna be like the cranberry of juices. You know, but let's be, think you about know, that logistically in everything. game. Okay, so you put up an addiction bubble, bubble, and you're just like. Oh, I got you now, bitch. We got this. All right, Caterpillar, take him down. I mean, how's that work? The yeah. Caterpillar ain't taking down shit. You can't hit it. You can steal all the cargo and shove it yeah. in your own Caterpillar. If Absolutely. you could also kill it with something. Can, <laughs> I've, I've heard loading a Caterpillar with a whole bunch of like hover bikes that can shoot lasers out of the side is not that horrible. I don't know. Yeah. But. Yeah. I, I will say, though, I love the new, the, the cockpit view out of it. And then they need to redo the entire fucking uh, RSI line and make everything. They need to, to make everything Damn. off of that. I agree. That needs to be what? the base. Let's go back to the drawing board and let's redo everything. Well, well just good. the cockpit. I, I don't care about redoing the whole cockpit. wouldn't be the first time, just so. Just the fucking cockpit <laughs> without all the stupid ass struts. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time I, they, they've redone everything. So, I mean, I, I think. think I think they should keep the existing Connies, and then they should make a new version of the Connie, like a 2040, they 2050 a 20 version of the Connie. Like, yeah, just like a car company comes out with new versions of cars, so RSI should have new versions of spaceships. The problem is, is every time they redo a ship, they're like replacing polygons with new shaders, stuff like yeah. that. So they don't want to keep the old ships in that are a lot more, you know, uh, work for the engine. They always do the, the best thing. Don't they get can. technical with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, they, it's actually because Toy remembers correctly. That is a subject that came up when they were redoing the Hornets, I remember. And before they came out with the uh, FA Lightning, they were talking about like people wanted to keep the old versions and the new versions of the ships. And they said they couldn't do that because they were basically re engineering the way the ship was rendered and, and all that stuff with the newer version. And then they'd have to go back and redo the old version. So then they settled on putting like a skin or something. They said they could do some skins or something like that. But you still repoly the the stuff. But if they the redo the Connie, then they've got to redo all the Connies. You're right. Including well, they haven't done the Taurus yet. No, but they'll That's if they true. redo the Taurus, and then they they if they redo it in like the style we're talking about with the polys, then they'd have to go back and redo mm -hmm. all the other ones again. I'm yeah. literally just talking about a new front fascia. That's all I want. I'd be happy yeah, but, if they got rid of all struts, redo, but they gotta redo the Connie like 890 or whatever it is, the Phoenix. The Phoenix. They gotta go back and redo that anyways, just to yeah. fix the bathroom. Wait, what's wrong with the bathroom? So you have these luxury like the VIP rooms, right? Then they send yeah. you down to the cellar to use the restroom. Wait, you have to go down there's to only you... one restroom, and it's where the uh, the crew is at. It's in the crew area. Yeah. Oh, dude, okay, no, so I... there's going to be a hot tub. Just pee in there. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. Everybody else does, no, so mean... why not? <laughs> yeah, no, but exactly. But to be honest, it's like I, I know if this comes as a surprise to you, but I never actually have to use the restroom when I'm in playing Star Citizen. So I really don't ever go to the restrooms in in the game. Well, so we see why after what happened in the Mantis now. Exactly. The murders. <laughs> the murders. Dude, you can just 
travel to my 890 jump and your people can use my bathrooms because I've got like 80 of them. Yeah, there we go. So, there you go. If they can find them all. Okay, so so good. maybe not redoing the Connies, mm -hmm. but all the future ships from RSI, the Polaris, the the Apollo, all Come that. On, struts are cool. I meant the Carrick. I really hope struts they do. Suck. I really hope struts. they do this for the Carrick because I think the Carrick would look so much more epic without the struts all over well, the front end. We've seen the concept. That's what the, the Aquila dude is supposed to have that super round, awesome nose where you can like, wow, it's the viewing area, and there's mm -hmm. nothing but struts. Yeah. Wouldn't that be funny? You know, you can CCU the Aurora to a Mantis or whatever now. Wouldn't it be funny uh, if you CCU'd an Aurora to a Mantis, but it came with struts when you CCU'd it? Mm, kept the, kept As the a Aurora punishment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, got some gift subs there, Mitt. Yeah, nice I know. I saw that. that. Yeah. I saw that. I don't usually mention them because when I push it to I YouTube, know. people are like, what the hell is a gift sub? Yeah, I know, but I, I felt like you know, come on channel and find dimension. out. Yeah, it's oh, absolutely. I think, I think that deserved that deserved YouTube. I gave no wimps a, a thank you. I appreciate it. And he's uh, going to play some Red Dead as well. For those people, while we're mentioning <laughs> other games, we're going to be doing some uh, some other games out there. And I am trying to round up the troops for that when Red Dead comes to PC. I think it was November fourth. Is you it? know what we should? I thought it was the first. I went and pre-ordered it, so maybe it's the first. It's it within the first four or five days. I know that for sure. But yeah, I'm definitely down to do it. And I think yeah. we're. I know me and Luke have talked about it. We talked yeah. to our people. I think I am going to get involved in like an RP server. It's gonna be, I'm, I want to get involved. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's going to be really um, fun, and it could be hilarious. Anyways. <laughs> anyways, anybody out there on YouTube watching this right now, if you want to be in on the uh, comments we make to chat every once in a while, come watch live on Mitt's yep. channel Friday nights. <laughs> yep. On Twitch, or and Anyways. and the one person I can't tag through YouTube tickles because I don't know his actual YouTube. So yeah, because every time I every time I do the YouTube push of the show, I go over and when tickles is on, I get ready to tag him for YouTube too. And I'm like, I don't know what his YouTube is, and he does like other stuff. He does like really barbecue don't and have stuff. A star Citizen, yeah, YouTube. Yeah. So it don't matter. Yeah. I'm still tagging me. They come over and want some barbecue. I know most people watch me. We talk barbecue because we love barbecue. So barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. baby. Come on, man. What barbecue? Oh, you don't know. You ain't doing it right. How'd your brisket turn out, by the way? Uh, I mean, I cook a lot of brisket, but I haven't cooked the ones for this weekend yet. I cooked oh, it's for this weekend. Night. Okay. Sunday, yeah, housewarming party. That's right. That's right. It's, it's going to be horrible. I'm actually going to do it live. We don't have to talk about it right now. I'm going to mm -hmm. stream it, and it's going to be horrible. I'll, like I, don't not, I do so not know what it. I'm doing with an offset smoker, and I'm going to screw it up. So uh, Always run your stack wide open regulate uh airflow at the firebox not mm -hmm. the smokestack that is the biggest mistake new people make yeah he's not he's not using any lump Thank coal you. either so he's, he's going no, balls you start with charcoal then you use wood for but i'm doing out. a texas style which is just pure wood they don't do like i guess and he's never run one wow. before with no yeah. coal so i'm like you're you're yeah, ballsy I'm man <laughs> well like, like i said dude all you do you start it with charcoal you just you get yeah. a bed of charcoal to start the wood yeah. and then by the time you put the meat ah, out yeah, yeah. it is all just wood Yep. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you sense. have thin blue smoke, and like I said, regulate your air at the firebox, not the smoke. I'm worried about the temperature management, but anyways, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll figure it or out. Or do what my buddy did: get hosed ass drunk, don't use the firebox at all, put the coal yeah. directly on there, and it's a regular grill, and he wasted all the meat. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, what did you do? Give like, him there, he had a roaring eight foot log fire <laughs> in there. That's like, the worst. It's like you are not smoking meat. You're Grilling cheeseburgers, you're I guess. Just grilling, I yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you're a large burger at this point. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> that is not the way you do that. <laughs> Welcome to the Space Bro Show barbecue show. That's right. And if you really want to get fancy, if you have a whole pack of brisket, separate the point and the flat. That is how you do it for comps, right? Because that can cook it even more evenly or something. Like you're not only that, the 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 seasoning gets, or even just yeah. salt and pepper gets all all the way around, and then yeah. generally you'll cube up the point for. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what you could call them burn ins burn ins yeah yep yeah all right now you're making me hungry <sighs> all right Good barbecue talk. anyway so mantis <laughs> yeah, i'm hungry Ma mantis mantis yeah. mantis 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 that's pretty much the week though really it is but there's other things to talk about besides the mantis <laughs> dragging that on forever <laughs> we do want to we do want to test this some and i would like to see get some operations going with some of this stuff other than the the weirdness for me and i did see people in chat say oh they added the caterpillar that we were talking about because mm -hmm. that way the mantis would help it get away, which I don't really buy into so much because until they kind of get this down a little more, it's really hard to be in the same area of operation with the mantis 
and use it to get away, right? Because you can't really, you're not snaring somebody down and it does a whole AOE, so it would interdict the caterpillar too. What well, and mean? I want to see uh, like two mantises trying to interdict each other. But would that do anything? They're, they're just both like, I got you, you got me. Okay. Interdict yeah, but they, yeah, they, they fly, the same, they fly the same speed, so you can just chase each other and you won't be able to get away. And then, I don't know. You're like, I'll be forever unquantifiable. But the bubble stays with the ship, right? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, right? yeah. But what I think is weird to. You eat, sorry, go for it, Toy. I apologize. I was just going to say, you have to power everything down in order to hold the bubble, too. So. Yeah. Well, what I think is How weird, you though, is you, around? you have to, like, you have to charge it up, and then you fire it, like, one time. Like How AMP, long does the bubble know. last? Like, I don't know. That's my, it, uh, that's my question, too. It lasts like, as long. Be, like, like I said, if you shut off your shield, it lasts forever. But well, you have to I'm shut down is, other systems. I thought you would just charge it up, and then when it's giant and red like that and spinning, that's when I thought it was interdicting. But then you would fire it, and then it looks like it powers down, but it's not really powered yeah, down. Yeah, that's the snare, and then it, right? So, and then it has this, like, death smoke that comes out of it. Like yeah. It I looks cool as shit, for sure. It looks pretty cool, yeah. but it doesn't look, like, as cool as when it's red and glowing and snaring people, but it's not really yeah. snaring people when it's red and glowing. I, I, I don't know. I would have rather them had, like you said, as the bubble charges up, once it gets to the full size, mm -hmm. it's an actual 10K bubble. Yeah. yeah. So when yeah. you're in it, you know, yeah. you can see it's red and, and everything or, around you. Or so. not even just that, just that's that to me, that's when it should be snaring people. When well, it's and I think you need that visual indication because like one of the things like in EVE Online that uh, yeah. they had, they had both types of uh, bubblers out there. They had what was called a heavy interdictor <laughs> where mm -hmm. the bubble stayed with the ship, similar to what it does here, but it was heavily armored or shielded, yada, yada, yada. And then they yeah. had the small interdictors, which were tinfoil. And they would deploy bubbles, right? They would just drop them as small beacon fields that would sit there in space. And uh, you could just drop them off and then drive in and out of it. And it was a fast-moving ship. Right. I, I think both parties need the visual. You mm -hmm. need to see that you're being in. You're like, oh, shit, yeah. I'm in the red bubble, right? Yeah. And then yeah. as the mantis person, you need to see, okay, my bubble yeah. is still up. Yeah, I mean, right, right now. To that, and to say that that's not doable, chat, I mean, somebody said something. I don't know if it's doable or not oh, doable. But point doable. Is, we already do that with the scanning things. When you scan, you get these giant QB things in space that show you where something is. Yeah. It's like a very visual representation of it's, that. It's I, I very doable. Things. If they can do it in EVE yeah. Online, a game from 2003... They can do it in Star Citizen. Mm. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It won't be that hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and the other aspect is, even if they don't do that, I guess the outside thing you could do is, since you know the bubble range is, you know, what would we say, 10K from the ship? Is that right? Or 10? I thought they said 10, something like 13K It's like 20K or, or like yeah. 5K. 20K, is, five right, 20 I've heard, K I've heard 15 sphere. fucking numbers so far. Yeah, I know. I have too. But 20K, let's just say 20K sphere. It's going to be 10K, you know, each side, each radius. So if you keep your distance at like 12k off the mantis and you're being a support craft, you'll know you'll be just outside the bubble range. Yeah, theoretically. Just outside the bubble. I Welcome but right now you can't tag your support ships. <laughs> like I can't if you if me and Tickles are flying together, I can't put a marker on the ship and say, okay, I just want to know where he is in space and be able to see that or float yeah. around my ship. I want some basic squad things like that. So if you're flying yeah. formation or if you're flying any other aspect, you can dictate where you are in reference to the rest of your squad. And I think that's really necessary. Mm -hmm. I think it's needed badly because you can't see it in even two dimensional space. There's no like mini map where I can see where the other guys are moving and move around with that. You see a three dimensional radar. That's very convoluted. It's like, look, there's more dots. I don't know if they're mm -hmm. my dots or their dots. There's just a bunch of dots flying around the screen and I'll just kill everything. So, I mean, that's not so bad. It's not when you're, it's it's honestly not right now when we haven't been trying to do yeah. group things, but as we move more into yeah. group play that we really want, these indicators and cues are really necessary for the game because sure. it, it makes it really hard to facilitate teamwork. If you don't, yeah. if I, if, if he shows up the same color as the guy that's blowing, blowing up the, uh, my ships, I don't know who's friend or yeah. foe right off the bat. I really, I, yeah, I really do think it would be cool if like something like the interdictor type ships were like, I guess it depends on the size of, of what you're doing, but it's like, mm -hmm. if it was like, you know, that red glow while it's trying to interdict, yeah. if that was like super visible, like even from a distance where it showed up, it was almost like a bright red star. Everybody would be like, yep, that's the interdictor. Yep. <laughs> you know, we're yep. going to take him out. And I'd be fine with that. I think that'd be really good. Well, you know, and why can't they just make right? The, they have green and red and then like the police are blue. Why yeah. can't they just make your fucking party members a different color? 
Make mm. them, I don't know, fucking purple. I... Well, I think eventually you should be able to customize your HUD and it'll just be a checkbox in your options, right? I want my, my squad mates to me. I want to see them on my radars yeah. and stuff as yellow, or I want to see yeah. bad guys as red. And, and I can do yeah. it however I wanted eventually. But right now, just choose a default color so we can kind of tell what's what and what's going on. Well, I that's think. what I'm saying. If the police yeah. get a fucking default color and you have red, just it's simply yeah. changing the color of the triangle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're not asking them to re-render the ship. You know, mm -hmm. it's like just change their little indicators and their flags to that color. I also think us. teammates should be called out further, right? Yeah. I should be why, able to why see. Why do your teammates yeah. call away uh, fast or just as fast as random Joe Schmo flying by? No, you should be able to see him because you would assume you'd have some sort of like covert transponder between squad mates. So you're right. on a scrambler frequency. So I know where Tickles Wouldn't is and who knows where. you have a covert around. transponder? Because at the end of the day, you could detect ships that way. No, it, that's though. how you Wouldn't broadcast your signal. You I know, but my point is, is like, just because you can't understand what's being said doesn't mean you wouldn't be able to try and get Well, you might be able to, but I know the military right now uses something. a lot of transponders so they don't smoke their own guys on the ground. So I figured, you know, yeah, uh, dude, that's, I don't know. you gotta, you gotta run the right fucking IFF codes. Yeah. No, that's how you, people don't listen to what you're saying, but it's like you're going to still be putting out some sort of signal that people cannot try and get your position from. They just won't know. No, if it's, if you look guy. at, uh, like, if you get on. I don't want to get him in trouble. Know, like, obviously, anyway, obviously I'm overthinking it. I yeah. know I am, but I'm just saying like, anyways, I know we all either have military background or have family and military and all that stuff, but everybody knows they have the little beacon so you can see it. You know what I mean? So yeah. that way they don't get napalmed or droned or anything else. That's all I'm asking for. I, I, see I just difference. have, I just have family that are, uh, you know, in the space force and they fly around in space and I already knew. That's right. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Top secret though. I can't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> space force. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, all right. Sorry. Back anyway, no, it's all good. Citizen. But, uh, so those are some of the things there. So let's talk about some of the other things. I think, uh, Toy, you brought it up with the pirates, <clears throat> the pirate packages that got out now. If you go back and use the new pirate swarm, right? Yeah. So they got new bundles. So tell us about that. They've, they've, well, I don't. I haven't looked at the bundles today. Like I said, I got up late, late afternoon after this stuff was already out. But mm -hmm. I mean, they did this before with the pirate uh, swarm, mm -hmm. where it's if been you defeated it, yeah, if you defeat okay. it, you'll get the uh, the chance to buy the pirate skin. Yeah, for it. So, and I, I think they have it for the Gladius now. As I well. know. I want the pirate skin for the Gladius. It looks amaze balls, dude. That black and red on the Gladius. Wait, there's really a pirate good. skin for the Gladius now. Yo, yeah, I'll be doing that pirate Ooh, swarm and, uh, for that. It looks good. Yeah, they had one. They have a a, a, a hammerhead painted like it. They mm -hmm. have all sorts of shit. I'm, I'm some, glad that they're like focusing skins. on the arena commander again a little bit. It's like, I've always wanted to actually play that, but ever since I got involved in star citizen after 3.0 it was never really that functional so i've never really and it wasn't really promoted <laughs> either you know because they they're did putting it. a lot I, I mean this was totally expected the good doctor map just out of the blue where mm -hmm. hey we're giving you something for star marine even though we're you know all working on squadron 42 and they're yeah. not really giving us a whole ton of stuff for the the pu that's not linked to squadron 42 so mm -hmm. throwing us that bone for for yeah. star marine was awesome can we can we take a second to appreciate this badass fucking pumpkin over here? Yeah, where right underneath the table? Oh, yeah, that's the, pretty cool, dude. It's really good. Yeah. They did a good job it's on that. Cool. There was some amazing. They had a competition last year and the year before, I think, just yeah. kind of on Twitter, where they had some really good pumpkins <clears throat> that came out for Star Citizen. I'm excited to see what people come up with this year uh, mm -hmm. on them. So I always I get excited about those, and I get excited about the Star Wars pumpkins I always see every year on Twitter all the time. Like people make some amazing like uh, profiles, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, mm -hmm. Death Star pumpkins. Yeah. I mean, there's some really cool stuff that goes out there. So Star Trek needs to step it up. They don't have as many cool Star Trek ones. I don't know why this don't see me. Uh, the community, you know, yeah. they, uh, they're not they pumpkin like people. Pumpkins. Yeah. They're not pumpkin people. <laughs> they're anti pumpkin. <laughs> so oh, but yeah, man. we'll be definitely doing that stuff. Yep. What's the new? Where's the picture of this new skin for the Gladius? Uh, let me see if this? I can find it real quick. I let me dive it. in. Yeah, let me dive in. I found it earlier. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. All right, any more wine? And... Oh. I have to finish up my Star Trek wine. 
Star voilà. Star Trek Zinfandel. Oh, yeah, it's a United Federation of Planets. <clears throat> Founded in 2161 by an alliance of humans, Vulcans, Andorians, and Tellarites, the United Federation of Planets has long recognized the core principles of mutual cooperation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in Vegas, the Hilton had this little Star Trek experience thing. Yeah. And they had all kinds of stuff like that. And you could, like, they had <laughs> themed food and everything else. It was awesome. I got some shot glasses yeah. that are all Star Trek y and themy. That's they're, awesome. They're awesome. Yeah, but they got uh, rid of it. Oh, it says, <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, and the idea that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, blended by our intergalactic sommelier and designed to fit the palates of multiple planets. The Federation wines are created especially for diplomatic banquets, Federation council gatherings, and planetary assemblies. <laughs> there you go. Are we back to Star Citizen yet? Oh, no, we're not. Okay. The grapes used in this inaugural Federation <laughs> I'm looking for that wine... image, man. I'm trying to find the image you wanted to see. <laughs> That's fine. The grapes used in this inaugural Federation wine were sourced from three ancient old vines right back in the vineyards. See, I'm mm -hmm. making everybody leave now. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to leave in a minute, too. Then you'll be like, all right, let's talk about COE. <laughs> all right. Time to talk. It's my stream now. Yeah. <laughs> you got this. Yeah. With, with soft, ripe raspberry and cracked white peppercorn aromas blended with an Andorian spice, this wine pays homage to the history and mission of the Federation, a dream that became a reality and spread throughout the stars. <laughs> All right, this I'm isn't done. the official official. <laughs> it's a winer mission. <laughs> this isn't the exactly. official official. This is a recreation. Uh, what? Well, that doesn't look good. Come on. Where's the official official? Ooh. I'm looking for it. That's good. I like the I like the color blown out on that. It's cool. It is look cool. I mean, I just want to see the official official. You know what I mean? I know. Oh, you you got a Google you. too. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, that's cool, dude. Isn't that awesome? Badass. Yeah. Look at these shot glasses. They're so freaking cool. Yeah, you can't sit them down on a the table though. <laughs> no. If you drink too many of them, then you try to start sitting them on the table. You're like, why don't they stand up? <laughs> well, no, no. See, this is just for me. Just my mm -hmm. shot glasses. Oh, so just yours. Right in front of me. Yeah. Right. <sighs> I don't know. I don't see it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. We'll go. We'll move on. It's bothering me now. Where's it at, Toy? I saw the images mm. for the pirate stuff, but I don't see it now. Somebody tweeted it out. Hmm. 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 Mm. This is very good. Can definitely taste the Andorian spice. Crazy. If anybody finds mm. a link, let's know. Sergeant Here's Tickle's chair, chair stream. The crystal yes. head vodka bottle signed by Bill Murray. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Except that it's empty somehow. I don't know how that happened. Well, that, that stuff happens sometimes. You can always refill it. Mm -hmm. You can even put water in it and just be like, yeah. Let's get some uh, crystal head vodka mm -hmm. in it. Let me know. Yes, I need to go. I need to go find Jean Luc Picard and have him sign my Chateau Picard. We'll just get another one to have him bottle. sign it, an unopen bottle of it, and then you'd be like, that'd no, be that's, worse not that, that's not I have that's not my that's not my Chateau Picard. The Chateau Picard is one of these bottles. Yep. Voila. Yep. Come Good sign day. it. Be cool. Santa Steph. Whoosh. Absolutely. All right. Are we back to Star Citizen now? Sure. Yeah. Hell no. Heck yeah. Talk more about alcohol. <laughs> so, <laughs> this weekend. Oh, there you go. So, the tickles is back. Yeah, the tickles back. <laughs> this weekend, uh, I, I think we're going to, everybody's going to be diving a little bit in the 3 7. I think we should try to do some more group stuff. I'd love to try to do, <laughs> play some more with the Mantis and also work on uh, doing some of the other things. So, the new Star Marine map that you're talking about, Toy, that's, is that in now or oh, is it still God, coming? Yes. It is. Oh, no, it's in. It's in. So yeah. It's called the Good Doctor, and it is amazing. It's it's a much much bigger map than mm -hmm. uh, Damien, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really fun. Really, cool. fun. yeah. That's Are you the We've been Star Marine in every freaking night. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm you're, not you're great, just projected but... the word booty by the way in my emote. Oh, <laughs> that's why it doesn't like it. That's why everybody's getting banned. Oh, but, but, but toy can say booty. I don't know. Damn right, Toy Can. Oh, you're Best moderator, moderator ever. 
You don't even have a mod sword. I don't know. I know. How do you, I don't know. This is bullshit. Yeah. Here, let me. Well, welcome to uh, Streamlabs chatbot. I don't know. Uh, oh, well. It's uh, discriminatory against I guess so. bearded I individuals. Craziness. No, it, it liked Luke. Mm. This isn't a beard. Yep, it doesn't like that. <laughs> That's wow. <funny. laughs> this doesn't like your emote. Can you type booty? If if talking to chat is something that's going to confuse YouTube, this part of this YouTube video is definitely going to confuse YouTube. <laughs> Works fine uh, for me. I don't see where everybody else's problem is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube's going to be like typing in their chat. Booty oh, seems to work on YouTube. <laughs> yep. He's going to get everybody I think, banned. I think, uh, Wild is, is right. What is it? It's uh, it's uh tickles booty, you know, whatever you know, the custom thing emote. So the L E S B O S is what's uh, kicking it off. Oh wow. wait, why is that in there? Tickles. Oh this yeah, is the PG 13 yeah, 12 don't... channel now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, some okay. things taken out of context are uh, <laughs> said in other ways that people mm -hmm. get offended mm -hmm. by. That's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because that's there's a hidden message in how I write my emails. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Your email got approved. <laughs> so Not by Streamlabs, really apparently. Fucking chat. Uh, so Streamlabs. YouTube, if you are watching this and you are confused, uh, make sure you watch our show live. There you go. Friday night. We'll find the inside stuff. Exactly. Uh, are, we, are we doing? Are we doing Star Citizen now? Yeah. What do you got to say about Star Citizen? Uh, can we I, talk about my new gold ship? No, mm -hmm. we're not there yet. Okay, fine. We're we Actually, about we're well. We were just getting done talking about the pirate swarm yeah. stuff. Yeah. The, oh, wait, let's the talk defender. about that. Oh yes, uh, the new defender. I know Toy loves it. I think the best oh part of God, the defender yes. is the commercial. Other than that, I haven't I seen the, the commercial yet. <laughs> you haven't seen the commercial the yet? Is really good. The commercial is actually pretty decent. What does it say? Like, what does the commercial say? It's we, a story, dude. It tells a story. We yeah. replicated this alien technology just for you. <laughs> Lurch is just trying to piss off the bot. <laughs> he's fighting it. It's like he's going to be perma banned. It's like, oh, bot banned him forever. What happened? <laughs> oh, man. Now they released how many different videos did they release today? A couple few. Yeah, for the like, four few? total, I think. Yeah, I think so. Because you I have the Star either. Citizen Live, the Mantis, the Defender, and then an Alpha 3.7 playable now video. Can we watch yeah. them right now so yeah. I can get... Actually, sure we can. Yeah. The, uh, the Defender can is the best one, so if you want to save that to last, but... We can do that. Well, thank you for spoiling it for me. What, the fact because that it's the best, it's the best one? one? Yeah, I was excited. I was excited about all of them equally, and now I'm not. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. Are we going to watch Whitley's Guide, too, from yesterday? Do we have to? No. <laughs> what is that? That one's only like what twenty seconds. It's, uh, it's twenty-eight so seconds so long. That's just, that's just a teaser about some future content. Yeah. Did you? And let's talk about that for one second. So, this galactic sale that goes on, which is the anniversary sale, is mm -hmm. going on the day after CitizenCon. It starts the day after yeah. CitizenCon. Which is really crammed so together because usually, next week. well, usually they have CitizenCon much earlier in the year, right? Like a, a, almost like by a whole right month. Now. Right, right now. Right yeah, now. right now. It's usually right now or the beginning of the month. They usually switch to either end or beginning of October, depending right on what happens. Now. And uh, some years they pushed it way back almost to Christmas time, you know? And then this year it's now on the heels of. I, so I was talking about this just the other night. Mm -hmm. Do you remember last year they said they were, they're adamant it's going to be on the birthday every year it's going to be on uh, like october 10th time uh -huh. every year and 3.3 .3, or you know whatever 3.7 in, in this case is going to be delayed until after citizen con right and they kept saying it last year they said it what how many times during the presentation they got the delay part right yeah no they did get that part right <laughs> um uh, but, but no, yeah, no, they're, they're like, like, uh, no never mind we're, we're pushing it to november <laughs> <laughs> who's they, who's they? Yeah, don't worry. This last build you get this year, so you're good. <laughs> yeah. No, we're getting the next one. They're still doing quarterly releases. We we hope. Yeah, but the next one is December thirty first, right? Supposedly. No, it'll be January something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm That's saying. What I'm saying. So Mitch's mid statement was correct. Yeah. 
We won't get it here at the end of this year. It'd be, it should be the first week of January normally, but we'll see. So Which that doesn't mean, with. but we should still have it in PTU and Evocati and all that stuff at the end of December. There, I guarantee you, they're going to try to push it before Christmas. I, I they did last year. They pushed it like right to give the Christmas. devs Christmas off. It'd be nice yeah, they used, too. They did, that, they did that last year, yeah. It'd be nice. What, to... what were you guys talking about? Sorry. Last year they yeah. pushed three point whatever oh, three it was yeah, yeah, before yeah. Christmas, mm-hmm. so the devs have at least a holiday. Welcome um, to the repeat show, so we can re go over all we just said. <laughs> yeah. Um oh, sorry, I spent the whole day today saying. with my dad at the VA, so repeating myself is like it's it's kinda like it's happened all day. Oh long. my god. Like, so no. you're calling me old, huh? But well, it's, okay been, if, it's I, been the whole thing all day. All day. Like I'm okay that. if they d- delay three eight until spring as long as it includes rock climbing. They're not gonna delay three eight. They won't. It'll be out. On time. So far, I you've been wrong on like all your predictions this year, Toy. You what? Know Are you kidding? Yeah. I don't, I so said the Mantis was gonna be one seven. <laughs> I said the Mantis was going to be one, and was it 150? Yeah, it, yeah, wrong. it is. Wrong. No, it's 135. <laughs> yeah, but pay don't pay war bond. What is no. it? It's no. 150. Oh my yeah, God. but you're not really paying. Well, then you're are not you, then? paying, are you? <laughs> I don't think it, there was nobody right on the Mantis. Nobody no. was. I didn't. I, I was dead. Wrong. I was thinking between 200 and 300. So I was. I was, I was praying surprised. it would be 200 or less, and I was not thinking it would be, but. You were was. like you were hoping for like 190. You were like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, if it's 200 amazing. or below, I'll jump on it temporarily. It's a good thing that. they didn't watch this. Uh, <laughs> the show. <laughs> They're like, well, we could get 200. Well, no, for it. <laughs> because it's much better <laughs> yeah. to have us all pleasantly surprised on the heels of a build than them going us all going. Fuck! What the fuck's this shit? I'm paying yeah, to ship. That's true. And, although, I mean, although we could go on the other side of them like lowering the price to tease us to buy it. You know what I mean? Like this, yeah. this is the corporate greed. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <Yeah. laughs> Two for one special. What the hell? <laughs> no, this is... Yeah. How dare they lower the price so low? Here, here's the way. This is going to be my new emote toy. Check this out. You can see oh, my... oh, boy. It's my dad getting his eyes checked <laughs> that, at the oh, VA. Boy. So so I was like, you know who you look like? And he's like, who do I look like? Uh, he looks like the bullet farmer from, uh, <laughs> from Mad Max Fury Road. I was like, if we get you the bullet hat, and everything, I was like, you look like the bullet yeah. farmer. Those goggles that come down. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. It was great. So, uh, YouTubes. Yeah, I've got them up. You ready? What's happening with YouTube? Are we doing something? We're going to watch stuff. We're, you want to oh, watch them? We're going to watch them. Yeah, so, I you want to? Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Okay. Oh, so, are we going to do the playable 372 or we're we'll just do the Mantis and then the Defender? Uh, I don't know, but I got to turn the volume up on stream so I can hear it. Yeah, I got to okay. listen to this too. Well, it pl- comes across the. <gasps> Oh, it does? Like, yes, it will. Yes, because you have GoXLR now, because you're amazing like us. <laughs> All right, sorry. Not like us. Calm down. I was going to say, I don't have one yet. I, I got to oh, well, bar up on guys... my channel. I'm about halfway there. I think, well, let me rephrase. I, I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you'll be able to hear it, but we'll see. Because it comes across uh, a game listen, channel on this one. When the GoXLR to fix... decides yeah. to have two XLR inputs, I might get one. So okay, no, I, I you actually have a road that does that for my like other stuff that I have two inputs for X. I actually has four. Regardless, so uh, mi- just to make sure it's routed to your uh, Discord channel thingy, whatever your chat stuff. I can't hear it. Oh, it's not playing yet. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I haven't play. I'm waiting for you to get done. It's like I haven't any buttons yet. I don't. I uh, right now I have it. Uh, let's see where it's routed to. For line in is going to. Line. I was uh, super anti XLR for a long time, Sergeant Tickles, and yeah. then I got one, and I was like, "OMG!" I, I think I, I could. Uh, I think I could just route. Oh yeah, everything. but you have your wife. You have your wife's. Uh, yeah, go, I think I, I could. I could mm-hmm. actually, if I wanted to. I think this is what Nerd does: route everything through the big mixer, and then route the mixer into the Go XLR. Yeah, because you, you can just do go that line absolutely. In. Yeah, you can do that absolutely, or you can get a road or something which is more expensive. But has like four XLR. The inputs, the big advantage to the Go XLR is the fact you have all the application channels, so you don't have to use any of the um, exactly the line stuff. So that produces yeah. that. But because the Go XLR has a line in and out, there yeah. you go. And now you don't have to get yeah. the big Go XLR if you but, just want the routing and you just want the the yeah. um, adjustments. They have the Go XLR what Mini, I, what which I want them to add yeah, more. But, what a, what yep. I love most about the Go XLR mm-hmm. is that you can set up virtual audio channels for your computer to like isolate mm-hmm. audio, which mm-hmm. means but, that I can like isolate. I can for my stream. I can pump out everything mixed together that are hardware Discord, driven for, that aren't yeah, using your Discord, CPU for the isolate. virtual audio. Yeah, we can do anything. You can split anything, mm-hmm. but really, just like, but you, but but for for Discord, I can just have my audio go in. Just like I don't know. It's, yep. 
Star Citizen is an ever-expanding universe. I sent you that picture, but too. But now we're okay. also going beneath the surface by the adding it. a completely new, yeah. unique location, which is caves. FPS mining in 3.7 is the most Stop lucrative on. business by far. <laughs> Discover deposits and mine them. If you don't bring protection, expect some risks and you might die and not make it out alive. With mission sharing, you'll be able to take on harder missions with your friends. That means there'll be more rewards such as loot or maybe even reputation that you can share together. Players can already earn ships in the game. With the addition of ship rentals, this will allow the players to try out different professions and explore what suits their game style. With the new quantum enforcement feature, players will be able to pull others out of quantum travel while at the same time preventing them from escaping into it. With the Banu Defender, we're introducing the first ship of a brand new alien species, which is exciting because it'll be the first time we get a really good look at what the Banu actually look like and where they live. And it looks awesome. So with 3.7, new players will start seeing the glimpses of what we're trying to do. So see you in the burst. Did he say brand new alien species? Like the brand yeah. new is was I think just he meant, announced? What he meant no, is it's never before seen alien technology. Yeah. Okay, okay. But it is but it is brand new. God, it's... do you see how fast Toy was ready to get salty? Yeah, he was he was cocked and loaded there. The minute he said I saw him say brand new, this is this is the picture of Toy Grubbin. They did not. They did not. This is exactly what Toy was this is what Toy looked like on the inside right here. He looked exactly like yeah. him. Like, I'm ready! I'm ready! <laughs> that needs no. to be one of your new emotes, Toy. No, but the thing is... The, the have you seen my new emotes? Look at this one. Mm -hmm. The challenge I'm I have with the whole thing is like, they're, they're, they're selling the game, the live game hard mm -hmm. right now with this oh, little little bitty they put out there, right? No. But no free fly still, just like I said in the beginning of the show. I'm like, this would have been a good right. hype little thing for the free fly. Like, come check it out. You know, but the like, thing, to, be, to be honest, though, they're going to be I have a feeling that the patches will be kind of like this more and more going forward every patch. And it's like, do we want to have a free fly every patch? It's yes. fine. But I mean, we could do it four times a year free fly, I guess. I don't yeah. know what I mean, but yeah. I mean, why Possibly, not? Yeah. I, all I'm saying is why not? I feel like they've really pulled back on the free fly stuff a lot. And I'm just like, I don't I don't know why. I mean, it's minimalist <laughs> marketing. Yeah, but there's not a lot in there for them to do now. Come on, it's caves. Well, then, so. then who are they They're making cable. this video nah, for? Because this video... And you could pick eyeballs off of certain plants. Well, here's, here's the other thing I'm saying, though. For new people. Yeah. Well, that people is, yes. waiting for that. And, 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 Ship rentals. Well, and yep. the way they frame the game, it's like exactly. this is... this. The way they're targeting this commercial, the dialogue in it, not from Dan, because Dan's pretty straight about everything. But it mm, makes it awesome. sound like, oh, you know, game. brand new features, and you can already get ships in the game. But they don't tell you they reset the game every couple weeks. Right? But... You can already get ships in the game now and blah, blah, blah. They're not fooling anybody who's already a member in the community. It sounds like it's marketed to have people come and check out the game. Not necessarily for us. That's why the brand new, you know, brand new race of brand new. Well, shit, if you've been uh, back in the game as long as this, we've known about the brand new for... No, to, to be honest, ever. it sounds like they're targeting people who had bought the game but haven't played it in a long time. Like, come back, check it out. We got all this stuff that we promised a long time ago. I would say it's actually towards both. Because yeah. there's all the hero shots... The video is targeted towards new people who don't have it yet. Mm -hmm. I would say the audio is targeted towards those that do have it. Hmm. All I know is you guys are going to be in for quite a surprise with some of the stuff they're coming out with pretty soon. So, oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. NBA. I know. I can't. Am I going to be happy? Wait, tell me about Holy it, right? Tell me about all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, we definitely won't talk about it after the stream's over. Okay, let's do that. We, we, we'll, we we'll make sure we... won't talk about it right now, because... No, yeah. we'll make sure that we honor all the NDAs, and you won't be telling me anything about the whole thing after the show. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, all right, NDA. let's... NDA. Got it. <laughs> let's go over to the next video. This one is the the mantis one we wanted to do next. Ooh, right? I'll, I'll be speak no evil. Okay. Speak no evil. <laughs> All right. I only peek at evil. So I can't hear no, anyway. So. A little bit. Oh, did no, you hear okay. about the I fourth the bit. fourth monkey on the evil <laughs> thing now? They had no, that. What is the, it? My buddy's got a t-shirt. Does he has the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, and the next guy's like this what on his do? phone, like down in his phone, going <laughs> like this. Oh, so that's oh. like it's like just distracted. 
Yeah, I was gonna say no, 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 no dick text pics. evil. <laughs> yeah, text no yeah. evil or something. Text I don't know, no something evil. like that. But yep, I was like, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, mantis is one of nature's most adept predators. Its patience immeasurable. Its focus indomitable. It waits silently for its prey. I want that fucking all The adroit helmet. hunter no positions doubt. itself if for you get attack, it with the mantis. Identifying its unsuspecting target when it's most vulnerable. And then, steeled to the task at hand, That's the mantis the strikes. Get. Its prey never stood a chance. But how did it know that the cat was coming? Yeah. And also, what and also when the cat turns that guns no on the guns. little mantis, it is just like, Whoop, boosh, goodbye the, mantis. <laughs> and the, 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 the thing is, is when you're a predator catching prey, you have to be more powerful than the prey you're catching. I do. No. But I'm I'm 99 <laughs> sure this is the exact suit you get because we're talking about well, you gotta, show and tell. You gotta have your friends there with you. This is not a single no. act, right? So unless it's they a, look single to me, unless it's a solo like caterpillar, ones. maybe, yeah. and you know something they don't know, like you have an EMP bomb or something. I don't know, but like that yeah. scenario now, that suit is so dope. The helmet alone, the, uh, the helmet alone is yeah. worth. I I may go upgrade something. Yep. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Did they announce that that's actually coming with the mantis? That suit? Yes, it's in the description okay. of it. Phantom says it is. I have it on. Yep. Uh, is that your new gold team suit, there, Phantom? Or are you, are you giving up on your gold suit? This might be the uh, dark suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move. All on. right, so to team. the one I haven't seen either because I haven't watched the band new trailer. I haven't either. seen any of these, so I've seen all of them, but this one, so. We'll jump into this. Ooh. This one's the longer, about two minutes. Stole the show here. Yeah, no, this is a good little story. So let's check it out. You sure this is the right place? Moss has never steered us wrong before. All right, good enough for me. Tessa? Yeah. Wait, where is this? Can we go to this mission? I want that fucking door opener thing. Yeah. I want that as well, and I want doors to open like that. This is the mission after you do the tutorial. Could you imagine if people were <laughs> in There's into a in outpost this. and we could like open doors like that to breach? Oh man, it would be amazing. I think on the blueprints on the wall, there's got to be some sort of teaser or, or something. <laughs> it's an infinity stone. Could be powered by one. Yeah. There you go. Teaser. What, what are we gonna? I don't know. There's gotta ships. be some sort of teaser there. We'll go back. That's a and Romulan look. ship I saw right there. Was it really? Board it cube. Like a Romulan ship. Although they probably can't. The one in the middle. Fish. They probably can't officially include a Romulan ship. That's a board cube right there. Board cube. Yeah. Yeah. Basically a board cube. I agree. The Tesseract. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the Metroid Prime ship, right? Chapter Wait, the door's all. all... She cut a door open and she just fell open. <laughs> she opened the door. It opens like the band's door. Yeah. I love the quantum jump. The band new. The Banu is what like it would look like if the elves and Lord of the Rings went to space. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's literally the coolest thing about the Defender. Everything else sucks. It also ready, has a hypnotic quantum drive, okay? <laughs> Shut up. It's cool. It's green, right? That's new. Yeah, that's... It's green and hypnotic. The ship bleeds when the it breaks, bleeds. though, too. And if it bleeds, we can kill it. 
<laughs> it reminds Green me blood. of the uh, so the newer version of the Cylons from uh, Battlestar Galactica last last series. Mm, they're like yeah. organic mixed and they bleed out and stuff. Yeah. Ships are alive. Mm. All right. Is that all our videos? I believe so. Look at the what is it? Are you in a rush? Shell over? Shell over? <laughs> no. What's next? Not... What's next? I love hanging out with you guys. It's... <laughs> But he's just done. He's bored. We're boring him. He's like, come on, next I, thing. I guess. Next thing. Luke is totally ADD. <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh, it's just how I am. First I say it was bad. I just... And I'm drinking wine. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. That accentuates it. Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay, yeah, blues blueprints. What are those? Let's zoom in. Enhance. 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 Computer. Enhance. I'm trying to find the ones in the wall that were in the half scene okay. before. You just had them a second ago. Ones on the wall? I had the box. Yeah. There it is. Okay, I definitely see go. a Star Destroyer. Oh, yeah. there we go. Look at the one in the bottom middle. Looks like a Ramya on ship. Well, that no. looks like the Banu. That's the Banu, right dude. And, and what's That's the little the, thing? No, the above it. That's the Banu as this well. This is like landing gear, yeah. It's all the same shit. Yeah, this is all really band new defender. Guns, yeah. These are all profiles yeah. or schematics. This is saying, like, since they took tech from all these different races, this is probably the source tech for all the different races to make the defender yeah, because say, it's best that's of all not, I mean, But see the shape of it? It's not exactly it, but it's the same yeah. body shape. So yeah. I bet that's what it is. Here's the engine schematic, like they got it from somewhere else. And here's the cross yeah. section. Here's the guns. And then the landing gear, they've taken off a different ship. So. That's what that is. What can you do? I think the, uh, the the one of the coolest parts in that video is where she touches like the power supply or whatever the fuck that is, power plant, and it's like it's alive. I think one of the coolest parts of the video is the fact that it sounds like Tessa Bannister. The fact that it's Tessa. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. You sure this is the right place? That's got to be Tessa. I mean, come on, it's like. Be... You Tessa's sure this alive. is the wrong place? Do we have an old Tessa recording? Tessa Bannister. I mean, it, doesn't that sound like Tessa? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Tessa Bannister audio. Dude, you got some long arms. I had to like, reach to like another keyboard way up here. I have two keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> keyboards in Narnia. I have like two keyboards. What's this one Tessa's computer, session? Right? Tessa, the reason the community is always obsessed with her is she's one of the first voices you interacted with in the game. Yeah, Buster, like, did you never interact with Tessa? Yeah. Yeah. Tessa is life, all right. All right. Mit, 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 mit. Okay. No thanks. Uh it's like a Well you don't uh, know how know. hot Tessa is. You haven't seen her without her armor is. on. Come on. It is. I told if you Google the actress who looks like Tessa Bannister, mm -hmm. it actually will be the three D model in this video it looks exactly yeah. like the lady who plays Tessa Bannister. There you go. So it is. It's gotta be Tessa. It is. It's totally Tessa. Telling you, could you link a picture? Uh, I just found it in the YouTube video. I need to fast forward to a particular link, but let me just find a uh, different one. Picture actress of the actress, plays, actress who plays Tessa. It's the right place. Bannister. <laughs> it's gonna be a new audio cue. I'm gonna record it's the that. Right place. This, you sure this is the right place? Dude, it reminds me of freaking Peppa Pig. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you sure this is the right place? <laughs> Uh, naughty, messy daddy. <laughs> Anyone with kids, you know. Yeah. Oh, um. Yeah. You sure this is the right place? There we go. Now we got chat. Sure, this is well before this video came out that shows a picture of Tessa, the lady who plays Tessa Bannister, but mm -hmm. I can't find corroborating evidence. And as a news reporter, I can't show you news until I can find at least two sources. I don't care. This, this video is now reporter. the source of all no, my joy. I'm because now I have this. Say sure if this I were. Right place. <laughs> no, you dude, sure modern right news place? reporting is you, you just get it out there and then you retract later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you fire the guy who said it, or you blame the say it, and then it's no big deal, mm -hmm. and then it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's 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 really like almost like uh, what lawyers Joy do on juries, right? They'll say something to the jury they know they can't, even though it's objective 
They're like, oh, no, it's yeah. overruled. You can't say that. The jury is directed not to hear that. Like, you can't unhear it. Yeah, so, can't unhear so, <laughs> so, it so the lady who plays Tessa Bannister, according to Google, mm -hmm. is an actress named Sophie Wu. And here's a picture of Sophie Wu. Link it. Link it. Right this. Okay. Copy. And then your chat's right here. Hopefully I don't get banned by your crazy, banned. horrible right. bot. All right, there we go. Perfect. Oh, Jesus. Doesn't that look like the actress who was just in the video? The the under whatever. The eyes the... are a little bit odd, yeah, because she's got like, mascara on. But uh... Yeah, I mean, that kind of looks like her, dude. Yeah. I, but there's a lot better pictures out there. Like this one right here, of course, uh, is, is better. Like, oh, crap. You sure I think this is it the has right to place. Be. We're doing investigative journalism, guys. Yeah, 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 exactly. Copy. Keylogger. Key <laughs> yeah, he's going to run it through his, his software. It looks oh. a little bit better, but, like, if you look at it, like, it literally looks like the, like, the 3D model of her. Uh, yeah, I mean, Playing well, they yep. very well could be using Tessa like in actual... a different role. Like, they might have actually, like, fucking dotted her up and stuff. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Anyway, yeah, I think we found the. I think we've found sufficient evidence that that's. I would. I would be. I would safely say that you could go to Reddit now. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. no problem. Reddit going journalist. To Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You throw Rose Bet Roseanne Barr on there and go to Reddit with it. <laughs> well, yeah. they they both have black hair, so it's got to be in it's short. It's perfect. It's no, but I mean, but like even the facial features, you just like look yeah, at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's freaking Tessa Bannister. I, I yeah. would say that that's Tessa, dude. Are you sure this is the right place? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be oh, no. overused. Mm, she doesn't care. Exactly. I think, I think Tessa is going to be in Squadron 42. That's why they dotted her up and they have the character model. And yeah. Boom. Yeah. Investigative yeah. journalism. Yeah. I heard it here first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, all, all right, what's sense. next on our, our news report today? Next thing, that's about it, actually. We're almost, uh, almost uh, right up there. No, we could talk about the Fuse Golden thing now. Oh, we, yeah. we can, Tell but while you're doing side. that, yeah. while Mint, we're starting Mint on that... Mint has one, too. Mint has one, too. If you have questions, you can put explanation mark question or questions in chat, because I mean, commands for both <laughs> since everybody screws it up. Yeah. And if you want us to answer any of those topics or any of that stuff, go ahead and mm -hmm. put it, fill it out the form, put it in there, and we will address your questions... Is it to working today? Should be. I have it. I I make commands for both, it. so that way it wouldn't screw up. We will address your questions in order of importance. Never See, look at all those at the very end. So many links. <laughs> it's like link a short, yeah, dude. That's. <laughs> I um. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, so one thing I want to address is 12, the wait, wait, thing. Twelve k short. Because here's the thing: they actually made it way better for a lot of people. Twelve k short means I think that that you make it to the um. Wait, no, have you always, is 10, has 10K always been the F8? Yes. Yes, okay. the first F8. So, so all they've really done is F8s. downplay the F8 executive to the Praetorian section. Now, now I'm going to say Which this, when, 15, I go to my, right? when I go to my web page, uh -huh. all I have are two fucking size one guns. I do not have a golden F8 in there waiting for me. Wait, so you are you Praetorian? No. Well, then you want to have a golden F8. Exactly, that's my point. Is It uh -oh. shows the Praetorian rewards coming, right? And the golden F8 is not in there. No, but you're not it's Praetorian. Just two shitty categories. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're like you're on your way to Praetorian. You're between whatever yes. uh, wing commander and Praetorian. So I can see. The yeah, rewards. I don't like the fact that they don't show the scale. Yeah. I don't. I don't yeah. like that. But me. I mean, I can show you. I mean, obviously, Mitt can show you guys the those. Yes, you because you guys, I think it might have been yeah. retrograded. Mitt, I mean, pull them up. Hit I'll pull them up. Yeah. Well, yeah, might yeah, but the thing is, if it if it hasn't hit yet, I'm wondering if new Praetorians are going to get it. Yeah, I know they will. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. They will. Yeah, don't worry. You got it. Just piss my mind. They said in it. there that it's not <laughs> fully implemented yet. Yeah. So don't panic. So, You've so reached the highest level like, of Chairman's Club. Yeah. We can t I can tell you there's nothing beyond uh, nothing beyond Legata still. Yeah, still <laughs> well, Legata. What you could do, Luke, is let me, you yeah. know, just send me the money and let me buy all the I've ships. I've already and asked I'll just him to do, that. Them he over. do it. Yeah. He won't do it. Fuck. Yeah. I already tried. Yeah. Can so there is the beautiful golden chair. Zoom in. Zoom in. Enhance. Zoom, Zoom in the back shark. <laughs> you better hope that they redo it. Otherwise, it's just going to be the same crappy ship. To be honest, I'm not that excited about it. No, I don't. But, I think it looks cool, but I mean. I'm I like... mean, if they change out the liqueur or something, 
or what um they need to redo the whole interior put some fancy rope swings in a particular area for wait some what what out. <laughs> what is this the what is this the stripper pole is I mean, this the S S S M ship or what is this i don't understand what's happening something like that no uh, i don't know um uh, <laughs> what kind of wine is he drinking <laughs> yeah special wine <laughs> praetorian also sounds stupid i'm sorry praetorian praetorian it didn't sound stupid to romans stupid. I know, but it sounds stupid in modern times. Wing Commander sounds awesome. And then you go to Praetorian and you're like, you got to Google what the fuck it means. Well, they're, they're tired of trying it's, to come up with it. It's a Latin stuff. word, dude. Um, yes. But what about exactly, Legatus Navium? Also Latin. Latin. We, all, we all speak Latin. I think that sounds silly, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I often uh, have the unpopular opinion, though. So At 50K, though, that's when, it, that's when the reward's going to get real. That's when we're going to get ourselves like some really cool reskinned ship. Yeah. <laughs> Solid gold. Gold trim javelin. If this, right? if this, oh, if, no, if this game horrible. doesn't go live before I ever hit 50k, then we're like all SOL. I've, I've, yeah, I don't think that'll ever happen. <laughs> I don't think that'll ever happen because I, I just don't have the same veracity of putting money in. Oh, well, you know. No, mm-hmm. but you can get right there at Praetorian level. You'll get the Apocalypse Arms. Scatter guns, and you get the, uh, the executive edition F eight C. Right, and like I said, though, when I when I view the upcoming rewards, it just mm-hmm. shows the guns. To be honest, though, the best reward is really just at the wing commander. That's when you get your uh, F eight. They've probably screwed up yeah. the upcoming rewards, and I can't see those because I don't have any upcoming Af- ones. So. After after wing commander, all your rewards are basically skins. Yeah, because you're well. You, it's a second second F eight C. I mean, I know, but it's an F eight, but it's also just a skin. Like you yeah, know, you get an F eight. You get two F eights. So that's... I know, but my point is, is like at that point though, it's effectively okay. You've got an F eight for your wing commander, yeah. which is great, and then you get a skin for mm-hmm. the seventeen thousand or whatever it is for Praetorian, and then for twenty five thousand, you get a skin. For your six hundred, mm-hmm. obviously, and, maybe it's not just a skin. They haven't gone into well, it. Well, and if they gold. come up with all the color customization, they say they still yeah. want to do. I mean, the skins are kind of irrelevant yeah. to the yeah. point anyway. The only thing difference is some of the skins that you get with the special editions actually say the name of the skin, like some of the, yeah. the Drake Dragonfly special edition. But you could still eventually color your dragonfly it's nice. yellow and black. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. it's a nice reward or whatever, but obviously, don't spend the money just to get it. <laughs> Not no, it's just it. it's it's more of a yeah, exactly. prestige thing. That's all it is. Is like yeah. we're just giving you, you know, you know what? like I would trade you. my my gold six hundred I in a heartbeat for MMHC. That's all I'm saying. For twenty five thousand dollar backers, I feel like you should just by default be allowed into the Million Mile High Club. Thank you. That's just what I want. Just take away uh, my Million skin. Mile High Club, and you should have your own fucking space station. <laughs> For twenty five thousand dollars. Well, you I'm consider sorry. you consider in the, the other game we're talking about, like you get a swath of land and become king at like yeah, ten grand. Yeah. I mean, only just, ten grand. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what is it? What 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 is theirs? What's your king status? Uh, the guy who like pl- the or... guy who plays king is like ten grand, but he has enough territory well, to like have two it's huge. It's really complicated. We could literally talk for like six hours about this game. Well, let's so trust it. As long as you keep them on comparisons between <laughs> the reward system there and here, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Right? All right. So we're just drawing comparisons to give you an yeah. idea. First of all, you can't buy king ships anymore. You can't buy duke ships anymore. They're all sold out. You can buy some county ships things kind of sometimes. But they it's don't unlike sell them right in space, you have limited actual land, right? So it's not all the like... land is huge in the game, like massive, but regardless. Yeah, it's not yes. space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I will say, I have a lot invested in Star Citizen, as you guys know. And the king that I interviewed for COE has more money invested in COE than I have in Star Citizen. Wow. Does he really? Yep. That's nuts. I'm just saying. No, I will say, though, I I, I, back to Star Citizen here. Mm -hmm. They kind of made it sound like they were completely redoing the entire system. And they might be. Maybe they're just doing the stages. And and they're like, oh, Mm -hmm. hey, this is... uh, what it affects what fifteen thousand and twenty five thousand dollar levels, and that's it. And there's a couple couple minor changes. I mean, it's oh not so God. bad though. I mean, it's better than changing a lot. We don't want to like have them keep repromising stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I was expecting a full rework. I'm not gonna lie. The way they were would, talking about it, I would just hope for like a chance. Besides me, like getting a whole <laughs> bunch of referrals of getting into the MMHC. I mean, that's all. That's all I'm asking for. 
It's like the one area. I mean, I guess it's nice to have an area of the game that I don't have access to. To be honest, I, I but... like the area, the fact too that like they have an area of the game that people back to a certain point got access to, and they're not going to resell that. Not yet. Not yet. I, I, but I like the idea that they do that. I hope they do that more. I hope there's some items that people can get at certain Isn't backer it? level that you can't get later. So like I backed at a reasonable price at, at day one Kickstarter. But it's about but time, not, too. I think you had to be like 10000 or something at, day, at Kickstarter to get yeah. MMHC, though. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Yeah. Anyways, I mean, I'm fine with it as well. It just... He's just jealous. I'm jealous. I'm going to turn a green this. over there. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, no, but but no, I hope they do go through and they constantly <laughs> groom and update some of those things there. And, you know, they don't necessarily have to redo the levels. How about add some more levels in between? Right? Or so encourage people thinking, to go. Yeah, yeah add about... levels in between. Not You don't have to... I don't yeah. think I think it's ridiculous to have a level above twenty five. Well, that's what they did. That's what Praetorian is. Praetorian's Praetorian been there. There is a level in between. No, it didn't. It they recycled. Right? No, it it's went recycled. from it went from ten to twenty five. That was the jump. There was no fifteen. No, there was a fifteen yeah. back in the day. That was the Million Mile High Club. <gasps> what? Yeah. So that I mean I don't. I should get it then. I should have it. <laughs> he he yeah. always twists this back to how he can get in the million mile high club no matter what. I should. No matter uh, what you do, he's like, well, you know, you I should sir have that. Are denying me my God given right to the million mile? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh, there you I'm, go. Okay, all right, I'm done. Mm -mm. Few, uh, the few uh -huh. hashtag few privilege. <laughs> he's like, yeah. I want my privilege. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crazy. All right, let's see if we got any questions on the board yet. Mm -hmm. Dive into that for an actual website. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's Sergeant Chickles and I are having side conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want me to spell it out for you? No, I, I think I googled this. It. Uh, there you go. Oh, Just wow. take those words, crunch them together, and put a www on the front and a .com at the end. I, I googled it. Fuck you. <laughs> Craziness. <laughs> All right. Sorry. <sighs> moving on. We have two questions so far. <laughs> That's it. Just two. So if anybody else would like to add some questions or see some topics that we talk about regarding the game, or, all you do is have exclamation mark questions yep. or question in chat, yep. and they will uh, pull up that form. Just type it yep. in there, and we'll take care of you. Or um, we can convert this into a Chronicles of Illyria stream afterwards. <laughs> oh, we can always stop it and do a and a on it. I'm sure you'd talk all night about it. It'd be perfect. Uh, <laughs> So we'll go around the room while you guys ask a few more questions if there are any available out there, and we'll see when everybody's going to be streaming, what their weekend plans are, and uh, all that good stuff. We'll start it out with mm -hmm. Sergeant Tickles. Oh, I'm totally not ready. Go to someone else. Okay, we'll start out with Toy Grubbin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, thanks. Uh, I'll be streaming later tonight. I'm going to actually get in the PU tonight and try and get some money saved up so I can re-outfit my ships and get some gear, stuff like that. So cool. We play every night. Yeah. And, you know, I'm sure we'll end up in Star Marine at some point during the night. But you should start out in Star Marine and, and then go to the other stuff. Uh, you want to make money though. I really want to get you know some attrition's bought and put on some ships. I so know I it's get live. Into, uh, Arena commander. Are attrition still good or they nerf them hard? Yeah. They, they, they really nerfed good. them. They're still good. Yeah, but they nerfed the shit out of them because they were busted through shields. Yeah. So what's the meta gun yeah. now since they nerfed attrition's? I find that uh, ballistics still work wonderfully. I don't know. I'm, I'm okay for my needs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't they they nerf guns. them and they're still good. Okay. I don't know even the names of guns or the names of the types of guns. So I just know which George. end the bullets come out. Attrition's are still great. Hmm. Yeah. All right, that's great. Those are your, what's our questions? Oh, you? No, no, sorry. oh, yeah, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, now you can I, talk uh, about your stuff you're doing this weekend and what your plans are coming up. All oh, right, that's the, this is the time. This so is the I, time now. Well, since this show might be ending earlier than normal, which is great, I may stream after this. I uh, hmm. actually probably will be streaming after this. Actually, Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's We should all shoot uh, each other in Star Marine. Yeah, so I just think And then go fly around and go make money. Back on and, um... And then what else am I going to be doing? Oh, yeah. Saturday, I'll be streaming, potentially, depending on how late I stream tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, 
because I have to, I might try to stay up super late tonight because Saturday night I have to stay awake from uh, midnight ish all day on Sunday because I am barbecuing up some brisket, three whole briskets uh, at the same time for a housewarming party for a friend. 12 hours? It's going to be, I have to schedule about a 12 hour cook. I think it'll probably be slightly less than 12 hours. Um, I have to get them prepped and ready to go by one in the afternoon, which means I have to start them. I have to start working on them probably at like 11 in the evening to prep them and let them sit and do all that stuff. So yeah, and I'm going to stream the whole thing. That's the idea. I have a whole setup ready to go. I've never streamed barbecuing before. It's probably going to go pretty horribly. That's fine. First times can always be terrible. Just keep doing it. Do yep exactly so i mean you guys are welcome to uh hang out it's gonna be super late pacific time so maybe europeans can watch it and if you guys are somehow uh i'll catch the vod it, i'll watch the vod yeah. if you prepare if you're, to meet. <laughs> yeah. if you're if you have insomnia for some reason uh at night you know hang out or whatever so anyways right to sleep <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly so i'm going to stay up super late tonight i think to try to like get myself prepped to uh be able to stay up all night tomorrow and I'm a stream tonight, and I'm a stream tomorrow, so we're good. Cool. Tickles, you ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, tell no, me about someone it. else. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tomorrow night is Sassy Saturdays. We're going to be giving away a $50 gift card. Uh, and, yeah, that's all there is to it. There's going to be sass. There's going to be money given away and some drinking and a lot of fun times. And Sergeant Tickles said he's going to shave his beard live on stream tomorrow. <laughs> that's false. <laughs> but for five grand, I'll do just about anything. Wait, yeah. I just need a second corroboration. Now, Toy, do you, do you confirm this story or not? Just charge of who? Uh, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. Okay, it is fake. It's like he, he comes in for this big stream, and here's what Tickles does. He just takes a little bit of shaving cream right there, and he goes up here like, yep, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. A glitter beard stream? Are we going to glitter beard? Yeah, you send, you send me that lens, and I'll, I'll shave my beard. How about that? <laughs> oh, my Which God. One? Which lens? He'll give you like some stock piece of shit. Oh no, that's worth more than my address. Well, almost as much as my address. Wait, no, actually, it's worth more than my. No, it's worth way more than your address. Yeah, Yeah. it's almost worth as much as my javelin. There you go. There you go. Wrong (laughs) ship. (laughs) Oh yeah, just uh, sign that javelin over to me. Sure, it's just starter ship, right? Yeah. Listen, I um, like I said, I have a price, but it's not cheap. (laughs) Yeah. Absolutely. (laughs) Oh man. All right, but no, yeah. So uh eight forty five Eastern tomorrow. There you go. Make sure to catch that if you can, guys. Uh myself, I actually I'm thinking about doing some stream after this too. If you guys want to do anything, if you want to do your own thing, that's fine. I'll just play by myself. No, okay. I really don't like hanging out with you, man. I know. I know it's been a big problem. I think the bathroom stuff, you're still holding a grudge. It's okay. <laughs> I get it. I feel it. For those who are taken out of context, the bathroom stuff sounds the really weird. I, yeah. Mm. Well, tune in to find out more. Uh, <laughs> we'll get some really good I'm just viewers. Jealous. In chat. He's got a Go XLR. He's got a Stream Deck uh, XL. He's got that nice green screen pull down. He's got all the nice toys over there. Who, what? Who does? What? Do, what? I don't have a green you screen do. down. No, but you have that Elgato one. Yeah. True. So. so back there. I also didn't get to fly over to uh, any of the well, events or go to Europe this year either. So <clears throat> I'll trade you next year. How about that? I'll buy you all those items and you can pay yeah. my way to fly overseas. You know what? And, I'll and, tell you what. And I'll I will see. not fly. I will not fly to CitizenCon next year at all. I won't fly. You're just going to drive there? <laughs> yeah, drive yeah, yeah exactly. Los Angeles. <laughs> I might be flying down to you and just riding with you again to do the drive. Hell yeah. Yeah, do uh, that. It'd probably save you a lot of money. Well, it worked out fine minutes. last time. It's just a four hour drive. Sure. So easy peasy. <laughs> yep. It'll be good. Yeah, we'll just, we'll, just coming too. Yeah, we'll just rally in Vegas. It's the cheapest airfare you can get instead of dealing with LAX and drive over. Actually, oh, I yeah. think I have cheap airfare to Vegas too. That's why everybody gets Come cheap airfare to Vegas. Well, dude. West has like one way flights. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. Airport. He lives in Vegas, and last time I just flew down to him, and we drove over to Long Beach when we went to TwitchCon. Yeah, it's, it's about yep. a four hour drive down there. Yep. It's not bad. And if yeah, if actually, uh, citizen comes less than there. four hours. Well, riding with toy, it's less than four hours. I'm saying if you drive the legal way. Four hours. <laughs> yeah, when I was driving a GOV, we did the speed limit. That's... If they ever get that train in out there, they're talking about making that train that runs from Vegas For to what? LA. Oh, oh. They're yeah, going to put a bullet train in, or something. in the next year. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not happening. Well, I know, but I'm just saying. If they ever do that, man. California is uh, shutting off their power right now, right? I don't know. Just can't, that's politics. <laughs> Vegas, Vegas got enough money. They'll just pay for it both ways. It'll be all right. 
They want people to come out there. I'm sure it'd be one of those things off a yeah. buffet on the train or some shit. It'd be like traveling 200 miles an hour and eating chicken. Watch. Mm -hmm. But other than that, so uh, we stream it after this. And then uh, we still have the giveaway going for the rest of this month. That's uh, we have two giveaways. Technically, one of them is, this is for like some this, sorry. This is for some sort of like an anniversary thing for you, right? Uh, my mm -hmm. anniversary this month, but yeah, it's kind of tied into that, but we'll probably do some other stuff on the okay. anniversary date, which is actually on Halloween night. Um, be with my anniversary is on Christmas. See, we so all like we holidays. Like holiday there you go. Holidays with the bros. Holidays, That's where holidays make people lonely and start streaming. There you go. It's like, <laughs> I don't have any friends anymore. I'll just do this. I think, I think my partner anniversary is right. Well, it's right before TwitchCon I, or since SitCon. Yeah. I have to go this, figure out. I think mine's in April sometime. I can't remember. God, you know, I don't remember when mine is. Oh, a partner. <laughs> hey, we've been throwing <laughs> in them hosts and stuff, man. I People know. just, you, you fools really just need to hang out I over there. Hang out with Toy for at least a couple hours and he'll get his partnership. That's it. He's when so close. Years. Well, you're pulling good numbers on your own. I mean, it's just a little bit more and he'd be all right. Um, but anyway, so we'll be doing that. We got those two giveaways running. You can get into those. One's for. This Elgato Stream Deck, speaking of Stream Decks, which is the one I replaced with the XL because I still have the other Ooh. one here. And then the other one is for, uh, you can win one of four $25 gift cards. We're doing four $25 gift cards. And they can be for Star Citizen, they can be for Amazon or Steam, your choice, winner's choice. So they uh, oh, just choose and we'll do that. Yeah, that way you get some diversity there, you know? Uh, and other than that, we'll be doing streams all week. And then next weekend, I'll be heading out of town to go down to Florida. Uh, can you go into more detail? Finally, the Disneyland trip, huh? Doing in Florida? What I'm doing oh, in I Florida? I'm just Sorry. going down to Disney World. Going down, not just Disney World. Going down to Star Wars World. Okay. I know. And you're going down to the old couple world. lightsabers. <sighs> yeah, you, I'm making a lightsaber. You, do, you have reserved a lightsaber thing. I right? reserved to go there. I still don't know how I'm paying for it yet, but I'm, <laughs> I have a reserve <laughs> to do it. I'll do it. How many lightsabers can you produce per person? Um, you like have a, to schedule a, a day for each one. I can, I'm thinking about scheduling two days and because I really want to make like two lightsabers, I'm, but I'm only going to do one because I'm getting each of the kids uh, droids. So they're each making their okay. own droids. So That's cool. like, the droids are only a hundred dollar reservation, whereas the other one's a $200 reservation to make one lightsaber. So. That's true, but it's a lightsaber. I know. Well, I'm getting one for sure. That's like my one Good. thing. This Good. Year. That's all you need. Yeah, you just need the one. That's all that matters. Because you can get the crystals and change it out later. Mm hmm Yeah. I just yep. want to make yep. some different styles. But, yep. Oh, well. Um, and unfortunately, I'm not going down there later in the year because they don't have the Rise of Resistance ride done yet. That second the second ride, which sounds like it's going to be epic, but uh, it should be, should be soon. All those things look plastic to you? They're not plastic, trust me. <laughs> they're they're pretty uh, heavy duty. Yeah. So. Yep. Well, we're going down, but Jagger, we're going down there for ten days. So, I'll get I'll get Star Wars plenty. The bad part is the hotel we decided to stay at, which is on property, because I wouldn't. In the past, when I went, we were asking where it was my honeymoon with my wife, so uh, we stayed on property. And it's a big advantage to be able to get in the parks and all that stuff. But they we booked it at the Art of Animation Resort this time because they had the gondolas there. But then they had the gondolas break down this past weekend. Like after two days of running them, they literally <laughs> broke down. And they stranded people in the air on the gondolas for like three hours. <clears throat> so because they couldn't get the system yeah. rebooted. So like three people got hospitalized and all that stuff. And I told my wife, I was like, yeah, you know. Might not be able to use those gondolas because they haven't like re restarted <laughs> using them yet. I'm like, that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> so, oh uh, man, well that's gonna be fun, dude. I'm super jealous of your your trip. Yeah. Well, I, I'm gonna take a lot of video and we'll cut together some stuff and we'll put it up on YouTube and all that. We get back. They don't allow live streaming in the park. I'm sure people they don't still allow try to. It, but that it's, would make it all that much more exciting. Literally against the it. rules there to live stream from the park. Wow. Right. But what if you did it and you, you were could, like literally live stream? Let me just put it this way. The security you guard. could just do it. I mean, I'm sure people do Facebook Live and everything else. But when you're doing a when you're a content creator, I don't think it's probably a good idea. Probably to not. To do it when it's like banned. literally against the rules. Yeah. Dude, they will probably get slap banned. the shit out of you. This dude does not mess around. Imagine, could you imagine if you were live streaming and you were like 
All right, guys, go ahead. Mickey Mouse is coming. But also Hello. think about the other end. If you if you did do that, think how many other people do down there. You'd have all these fools on their phones, like live streaming everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, running into everybody, running, running in the everything. parade and all that. I'm sure you, know, you don't want to you don't want to risk getting kicked out, right? It's not yeah. worth it. No, not it's for not me. So much, I, it's, for totally, well, yeah. it's totally worth getting kicked out of Disneyland for. It's I don't might know. not be to it might not be totally worth getting banned from Twitch for. <laughs> no. But I don't know. I don't know that like how they would tell versus that versus you're taking a regular video unless you're just really interacting with chat and all that stuff. Which yeah, guys, I would be, chat, but I don't know how you. I'm going to. I'm going to mime you, chat, yeah. the whole time. There you go. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm sure you could do it, but if it's against rules, it's against rules. Whatever. Yeah. You do. Yeah, I'd probably want to make sure the family stuff's done instead of that. But but if you had a second, a lot of people live streamed it to Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. If you had a second instant, uh, uh, if in, I was, uh, if camera. it was, a, if it was a bro trip and we we're all going, which might be a weird trip for a bunch of guys to go on to Disney World, no, but no way, dude. But I would love it. He does not have an age limit. That's not a weird trip that, at all. No, yeah, that's not a weird trip. Lost. Legoland would be weird. Disneyland, not so weird. Legoland's and not that cool. <laughs> entertain me I, like no, that, so. I know. I I tagged along with a friend and his family once. It's also like five hundred fucking dollars per person or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's stupid but my, expensive. <laughs> yeah, but my point is you should take two cameras so that way when they do tackle you and take you downstairs. You'd have both perspectives. Someone else can, can video the takedown. Yes. I want to exactly. do, I, I'm taking my GoPro plus my regular, just my phone anyway. <laughs> but most of it is because I want to keep a camera like on my kids' expressions like the whole time when they right, see stuff. Yeah. So it's like, look at this. And it's like, like my but son's never been on an airplane. I'm going to be the idiot in the airport videotaping, probably t being told by security not to. Because my son's never been on a plane, Dude, so I would have to see all that. It's for your family. It's not. It's yeah. not for Twitch and or us. It's not. Or, it's for your family. It's not. So you don't need to fucking <sighs> live stream from Disney World. No, you know? it's for your family and for us. King. No. Like I said, though, it's you could totally always... for my family. Even though the first thing I booked was my reservation to make a lightsaber down in Star Wars Land. <laughs> it's like, like this is entirely for all you guys. It doesn't matter. We're going to. But my son's a huge Star Wars freak too. Okay. So. so there's nothing that stops you from YouTubing you making the lightsaber and sharing with us on yeah. stream. No, later. not at all. You can totally do that. Yes. So see, when I went to the uh, Ages VIP event, I didn't go there just for that event. I went there because I was robbed in 2017 when we met went, met went to uh, Citizen Con about getting my freaking bratwurst. So I had That's to go true. back to he get did. a fucking proper bratwurst. I'll never forget. For a $4 sausage. I'll <laughs> never forget. I think he took a picture it of it. He probably deleted it. Every but we were you getting robbed? Oh, sorry, go for it. What happened was when we went down to Frankfurt. What happened was? We, we went into one of the restaurants there, and I think I ordered a schnitzel, right? And he ordered, he wanted to order, he was thinking of this great German luscious sausage he'd get, you know, and all this stuff. Oh, yeah. And he ordered, what he ordered was he ordered, it was called a sausage, everything on the menu. He brought it out, and it was literally looked like a, a bun size Oscar Mayer wiener. <laughs> it was like this, like, hot dog on a plate. It was not a sausage by any means. It was literally just a wiener. Sausage. Yeah, it's like hot there. Why and he's like, we get the words that? from... And I couldn't help it, man. We were laughing so hard. He was so mad. I was like, it was just a I'm hot dog on a plate. mad about it. Yep. It was literally a fucking hot dog. It was like that. And his quest the whole rest of the time is to find these great German sausages, and we never saw them. We ate, like, fly pizza, like, the whole time, and that's it. Like, it was so... uh, I would rather eat fly pizza than that hot dog. Oh, that hot dog looked disgusting, man. It's like, you know, even when I eat a hot dog, like, I want a beef grilled dog, you know, or something like yeah. that. Or this is like literally like the cheap ass wiener something. that you get for your kids. It's like like 99 cents for a whole pack of 12 or whatever. Like this is they probably like imported it from the United States. To be yeah, oh, it's so mean. good. The American hot dogs. Oh, I'll my God, dude. It, was French, just, but... it looked bad. It looked like pate <laughs> rolled up into an Oscar Mayer wiener. Hey, pate is good. I love pate. Don't don't be knocking pate. Whatever. <laughs> pate is just fancy canned meat. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, uh, so let's go to these questions. We got a few here now. We got five. That'd be good yeah. enough. And then we can go. Oh, I forgot we play. had questions still. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do that real Sergeant, quick. Sergeant Tickles is gone. So well, now that Tickles is gone, we can actually get to the real meat of the show. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, he's back. Never mind. Um, but he needs yeah, his kids so to get him drinks for so Sergeant him. Tickles not being here, yeah. we can really start. Oh, I'm whoops. I mean, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I walk in on? What? Uh, Toy was advocating for your children to be mixologists. He was like, his kids should get his drinks for him. Like, mind you, you know, stuff. 
like no no <laughs> maybe when they reach your kid's age but not not uh -oh. six. yeah i can see my seven-year-old downstairs <laughs> like dad how much vodka did you want in this <laughs> yeah, you know like... oh. well, I, I had something to say about the german sausage thing so i, I came like back at the end <clears throat> I i'm lucky enough to live next to a basically like a little bavaria type place it's a, a whole fucking it's called frankenmuth up up by in michigan here frankenmuth yes mm -hmm. got it and uh it's probably not pronounced like that in you know in german or whatever but they, they have a couple of sausage shops here christmas town exactly boom we have the world's christmas largest town. christmas store oh interesting oh, okay. uh yeah, but yeah Wait, what do you uh, sell at this christmas store the christmas things like trees Everything. Ornaments, probably. Like probably ornaments, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Trees, decorations. There's people that are 25 for our obsessed Christmas. And this is a store that's 24 7. Like, it, I no, mean, yeah, no shit, dude. The like, year. They're, like, it, July, it, can I go a, there? Yes, this is a destination. Like, people come here yep. from, well, go there. I don't live there. They go there around, like, a, from around the world. But should you there. live there? I mean, just imagine what your streams would be like. It'd be fun. You could be the first 24 7 Christmas stream. Christmas stream he channel. just needs to dye his beard white. <laughs> he fit exactly. the part. Just have, just have Disco make All cameos. Right. What's the story again? All All right. the sausage they have store. a lot of sausage shops. They have a few sausage shops there made like with real German sausage. Like it's real German I'm, sausage. I'm still deceptive what real German sausage looks like because apparently, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> this <laughs> real authentic like German crap. sausage looks a lot like looks... a hot dog from America. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's. I don't think that's that's the real stuff. <laughs> well, it was in Germany. All right, that's I just. Uh, I was. think. I was just saying. I only. I've never really truly properly been to Germany. I went to Frank. Uh, what is it? Frankfurt. Frankfurt once for like a day. Well, that's where we stayed. We were there for a few days. I got I one spent meal a night in Bitburg. Oh, there you go. I got. I got one meal while I was there, and. I ordered a plate of sausages and I had a beer and it was an amazing beer and the plate of sausages were legit. So I don't know what you did toy grubbing to get screwed over, but you just ordered what was on the menu. That was, I went to a bar that was opened by and ran by Americans that had moved to Germany and had legit ass sausage there. So like, <laughs> I, I, I think what we went to though, to be honest, the first place we went was a restaurant that was an American restaurant in Germany. You know what I mean? I think that's what it was because they had schnitzel. No, it was still a sit down like a bar and grill type place. But I think that's what it was. I think it's like you know you was go. This, was it Denny's? So no. was it like was it like our Chinese food to them? You know, yeah. Is their American food? I think that's what it was. I think it was like literally going there and getting that. But I made up for it on bottle, that second dude. trip. There it, it, Star Trek it, the second trip was awesome. I I drink only the finest Star Trek wine. <laughs> I like a corpse and chat. It's like Mick could always override. It. He's talking about the bot. He's like he just hasn't turned the bot properly yet. It's still set to Christian Minecraft server preset. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like probably. Uh, just hanging oh, here crazy. All right, first question from Buster the Destroyer. What do you guys think of the changes to the arrow? That's a lie. That's a trolling question. There's no change no, no. to the arrow. They did. I heard they it took nervous. out one of the shield generators. So it's not okay. It's not good. It's, that little shit yeah, has to die. It shouldn't <laughs> ever. Like, it's not a tanky. It, that is a ship that you fly around really fast and zip you like, mm -hmm. and everybody gets annoyed because they can't hit you. But yeah, if they it, hit it you once or twice, you, you should blow up. You should blow up with one or two good solid hits. Yep. As as uh, Luke proved, you can ram the mantis in a caterpillar and instantly blow up too. <laughs> that was I watched that clip from your tweet. It looked really cool. I didn't. It did look cool that. because you had first person. I wish we had both your cameras. We could have seen like a side by side. Like ah, it's like yeah, that would have been cool. But yeah. we'll yeah, do that in the future. It was really, and I love how it imparted momentum and the caterpillar started spinning. <laughs> I know, and then I was like, yeah, I was just like, forget this caterpillar, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. In the furrows uh, says, "Are team missions already in?" And technically, I guess yes. I don't know. Did Since they add new share, missions? Yes. You can yeah. share. Yes. I don't think no. No, but I will say that they made the FPS missions way fucking harder. Yeah. The AI actually kills you now, like destroys you. Well, me and me and Luke experienced a little bit of that. We went on a bunker mission mm -hmm. and we won. But it's like we we killed one guy. We like kind of came up silently, like tapped in the back of the head, and then the entire level ran at us. All those oh, yes. seven and guys. Whoever like, shoots first mm -hmm. will be destroyed. Well, we both, oh, we both in, lived, but not like, by much. <laughs> it, well, it's kind of like it's kind of like hive mind ish. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it they was. all focus on one target right now. Oh my god! And they just run out of cover, just running at you. I was like, "What is happening right now?" Very oh, they aggressive. They bum rushed the shit out of you. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I went to uh, security report Korea a little while back, and holy crap, man, we just got murdered like four times trying to get through the door. It was so bad, but that's good. Yeah, yeah, we did fine because uh, Luke had a grenade, but I only had like one mag. And the whole thing. So I was like, when I sat down there, I was like, I fired that and I was on the pistol at the end, barely surviving. So mm-hmm. we found ways to do it. it. You just, you don't penetrate very far. You no, we basically killed him at, to you. yeah, we were at the elevator and the whole level. Came yeah. Out. <laughs> that was the best way. Yeah. You make some cover. fucking noise and they come to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Craziness. All right. Next question uh, from Mr. T-Rex. What happens if someone pledges in the millions well, they get a special rank and stuff no one else has. So if you back the game in the millions. Well, I remember a long, long time ago, and, and I don't even remember the dollar amount, mm-hmm. that you actually got to go and hang out with Chris Roberts, and he'd, like, personally give you a tour. Well, yeah, you get to so personally wank off. I know they have, like, a super backer dollars. level that's not a level, per se, but you become, like, almost like a partner of the investors of the game. Yeah. And so I guess if you had multiple millions that you put in, very likely they would just they would just do something like that. Because obviously See, putting in that kind of money, you own every ship, you have all that you know, stuff. There's not really you're not playing on the same level that we are. That's we would different. get uh, paid away. I would have I would have Ticklesopolis, mm-hmm. and you yeah. guys would all have to trade through me. You're like creating I would get the a next percentage race of every trade. <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> like that. Mm-mm-mm. You'll drop a mill if they rename it Wimp Citizen. I don't know if that'd go over well. Am yeah, I, I don't think they're. I don't. I don't think they'd take your money, honestly. No, because they'd probably lose the other two hundred million. Everybody <laughs> put in, they'd be like, "Yeah, we want our money back." It's not Wimp Citizen. Yeah. Estwild asks. He says, uh, "What's the next big thing you think or hope you will see to be shown off in the near future?" And uh, they said they've been out of the loop for the last year or so. So what's what's the uh, next, the next system? No, that's not, I'm not uh, hoping for that though. That's boring. That's like the boring CIG answer. Give me a real answer. Give me a real uh, answer. Tickles. Are you serious, dude? The next system. For those of us, for those of us explorers. So you'd be cool if if, if you had go to the, if, if, if you had no wait a minute board. if you had the same mechanics you did today, and that's it, and they just spent an Earth system that mirrored basically what this has. Yeah. You'd be Who happy cares? with that. You can't get to the next system without new mechanics. Uh, Maybe you could. Maybe you could just click on a zone and just hit yeah. load area eighteen Ooh, squared. Eighteen, go there. No, you gotta have the uh, gotta have the fucking warpole thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. this is, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they'll, they'll just say they'll thing. call it version one. And it'll be click and go. Click and go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we did that with area eighteen forever. Like, oh, you want to go down to the planet? No problem. We'll go to Area 18 where you do nothing except ram each other with uh, gray cats. Oh, we took that out because you guys were having fun uh, with it. <laughs> I really want rock climbing. I know that's not going to be in the game. I just really want it. Like, that's... Man, you got to be drinking too much wine. Why are they showing us, like, repelling and not put that in? I know! That's a tease. They, like, showed people, like, coming down on ropes or something. Although the, yep. they have shown pictures of, like, paragliding and stuff in the well, past I think they well, took that so. out since they took out hover mode. You can't repel off anything anymore, so. Yeah. Like, oh, well, yeah. There were sailboats in the 890 Jump commercial. Put sailboats in the game. Oh, my God. <laughs> Put swimming in the game. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll repeat what I've said last several weeks. And their their mechanics are coming down the pipe, but they just aren't here yet. Okay. I want ship disabling. I want boarding, and I want looting, like actual looting from ships mm-hmm. and to and from people. Mm-hmm. They, they have the mm-hmm. bases that now with the personalized inventories, you can get loot, you can make a box, you can put it on a ship. You yep. can drop stuff arbitrarily yep. hand to your buddy, like, here, pick this up. I feel like it's douchebag trading is what I call it. Because it's like, yeah. I can't just hand tickle something. I have to go, oh, I dropped it, fool, pick it up. Yeah. You know, I it's... put my hand out for the for the change. Yeah, you fucking put it on the counter. Yeah, it's just like I, I mean that's such. I mean, I wanted uh... or just trade money, like stuff like that. And I know they yeah. aren't game breaking to advance Star Citizen forward, but they provide emergent <laughs> gameplay opportunities for us where we could just play the game now and do stuff. Yeah, I mean, and it's all those things because then you open up cargo hauling, then you open up things like 
people protecting cargo actually for a reason than so some douchebag just blowing up. He's trying to disable yeah. and board the ship to get the good loot, you know? Yeah. And then you stretch that over to AI, then you could actually think about a mission where you have to board a ship, not destroy it for AI. That'd be I agree. I, I agree as a mechanic, if you could literally take people's ships and then sell the cargo in the ship and make money off of it yeah. in a relatively easy way, that would change the game a lot. Yeah. Um, but but really seriously, though, like if I'm trying to be serious here. Rock uh, climbing saw it. Got it. No, no, no. <laughs> put swimming in the game. Put sharks in the game. Done. I mean, seriously, that's a I gameplay loop. I think you'd be done, that's a, done, done. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a gameplay loop all by itself. Swimming in sharks. Can there be wooden boats else. with cannons, and then we could, like, claim islands and stuff, and we'll uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. play pirates. Yeah. <laughs> there should be some loot, maybe some walking skeletons. Yeah, maybe yeah. so. Yeah. First of all, if we have sharks in the Load game, screens. I can kidnap them. And I can Only if they're all the rewards are cosmetic. And then sacrifice people to them. Yeah, yeah I was really sad that the pool wasn't my death chamber on the 890. Yeah, I know. Well, it is if you, like, crouch too low or something. Take your helmet off. Yeah. <sighs> yeah that's what we need. T-Rex is riding sharks with lasers. Right? There you go. Sounds perfect. Toy, what about you? <laughs> what do you throw in there for something you're waiting for mechanic-wise? What's the next uh, thing you'd I... like to see? Next big thing? Something that... You know, a lot of ships have and don't use. I, I would like to see tractor beams working, so we could throw cargo around out in space. Just that's something a, fairly simple. So yeah. we could tow these goddamn rocks out of the fucking lanes. <laughs> yeah, the yeah ones, no kidding. Like this Jesus. one's interdicted me for the last time. You, you assume that more people would probably be towing them into the lanes, and it'd be nothing yeah. but asteroids like troll. That's it. <laughs> well, that's you know what they're right doing. <laughs> You know what people are doing now to troll other people is they're taking uh, anything they can buy from the stores and throw them in the hab so you can't get out. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. They're going to the store and buying stuff and, and bringing it over and dropping it in the doorway of the hab so you can't pick it back up and, move, and get out of the habs. Yeah. So, so people are basically trapped in there. Hmm. Because that's fun. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I mean, but, I don't even see how it's fun. Are you going to sit there for the hour waiting for somebody to spawn there and then try to walk out of the hab? You're like, oh, look, guys, we got them. I'm yeah. like, what? what? What can you drop that they can't get out? I guess I'm... You can't pick it up, though, for some reason. It glitches there was like, co way. like components or something they were dropping in there. I got screenshots of... It was happening to some people on Yeah, Toy, show us how you were doing it. Some screenshots. Toy was doing yeah. it all day. He's like... <laughs> Let's, I'll let's talk about it off, the, off stream. Off stream. Oh, is that one of the things that's coming? <laughs> <laughs> that's how Toy trolls it. You know you piss Toy off if you find, come out and you find like a shield generator in your doorway <laughs> when you respond. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's this you shit? Talking? It's like UPS yeah. sucks out here, dude. And they're like this yeah. Dropping boxes. Can't get out. Dropping like a towel. Crazy. All right. All right. All right. Uh, what's the most important question? Last question. Are you? Uh oh, are you rushed? No, no, no I'm not rushed. He's I just ready to play some games. Game. I'm ready to get in the game. That's right. He's got it. He's got caterpillars to ram, so I can blow him up easily with a mantis because he all shields down. <laughs> I hey, it's not my fault. I'm that good at space melee. Okay, you are. <laughs> I'm really good at it. Pretty I'm just good. A, I'm a bruiser. Pretty I'm good. Not a ranger. Sacrificial lamb, I call you. You're, you're not good. much of a flyer, but you can. <laughs> <laughs> he can sure sacrifice the hell out of himself. It works out yeah, well. Okay, that's not true. He could fly. He can't land. That's, so wait, yeah. I'm just really good at space melee, right? The problem is, I just generally pick fights with large moons instead of ships. <laughs> yeah, target selection so needs to be better. better. I don't know what I was expecting, but <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, last stream, last question was like, if you guys are going to stream, are you guys going to multi-stream or not? That's from T Rex. Uh, yeah. Wait, T Rex? Yeah, I mean, yep. sure. I, why not? Let's do it. I'm cool with it. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm okay with the idea. I mean, what's multi-streaming again? Uh I thought we had to talk about COE for like an hour and a half. Yeah, uh, we can do that. Go we'll, we'll do that on while. Tuesday. No, dude, we're doing it on Tuesday, dude. Uh, Tickles, come on by. I, I I would like to just get a group of us to just sit and critique the game. It would be so much fun. Anyways, I'll yep. talk to you about it later. Yep. <laughs> that's, a, that's a later thing. Anyway, for, so for this show, <laughs> we're actually ending on time. We stretched it out long enough to hit two hours. Well, one yeah, thing even... before you close it, show uh -huh. the picture of the uh, Gladius I sent you. Oh, we got a clue. We got a picture. Where did, where did you send it to me at? A private message Discord. Oh, my God. Discord on this machine. Hang on. Oh, my God. Discord saves it though. I can do it. Yes. 
Oh, the Red Gladius? Is that mm -hmm. what we're talking about yeah. here? Yep. I hate to spoil it for you guys, but it's a Red Gladius. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> red Gladius. It is an Atlanta Falcons themed Gladius. It just means that it'll well, get... Well, now you ruined it because you said that. It's, I'm just saying, dude, dude that's, that's what I guess is. I just look at that and I see Phantom Killer drooling over the Canadian references. It just kind of like oh. looks... Double ruined it with that. Good lord. It's like a, it's like I just like red and movie. black, man. I mean... It, it apologizes after every kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. A maple syrup dispenser. And, and with <laughs> every that... Every time it fires, it goes, hey, 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 hey. That's that's actually the gatling on the front. Hey, it sounds oh like long, a Canadian sheep. <laughs> oh man! Are you sure, this is the right place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. With that, we're gonna wrap this show up, and then uh, I'll be back on, and I assume everybody else will be popping back on with. I, I think the best part was Tessa tonight. Yeah, yeah Tessa Tessa's the best true part. Identity. Yep. And watch they'll mm -hmm. deny. They're like, that's not Tessa. That's just her voice. <laughs> so. We'll just We're do it. Oh, We're here. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, guys. Have a good one. Thank you again. Sergeant nice. Tickles, the few toy grubbing. We'll see you guys in just a little bit, actually. So yeah, I'll put you on too. Yeah. Just for a little while. See you guys later. Have a good one. Later. Boop, boop.